I'm here to get answers. I'm 24, I've never seen my dad. I just found out that he raped my mom. I had just had a baby, and I tried to explain to him that I, I couldn't do that. And I looked down the hallway, and he was shaking Danny. He shook me when I was two weeks old. Were you drinking? Alcohol had nothing to do with it. Do you have doubts that your mom has told the truth? But I got angry. Your father took a lie detector test. Your mother took a lie detector test. In that time of 24 years, did you ever make an effort to see your son? No, because every time. Okay, well then stand up while you tell the rest of your story. Welcome to the show. My first guest is Danny. And Danny, why did you call the show? Well, Steve, I'm 24. I've never seen my dad. Uh, I just recently found out that he raped my mom and he shook me when I was two weeks old. And you, you know, I'm here to get answers. I want, I want to know why he did it. So you basically have never met your father? No. And who has told you that your father did this? My mom. And all these years, no contact at all. Your dad never picked up the phone, called you up. When I was, it, she told, she said that we used to talk. We used to talk all the time when I was like real, real little. I and you have remember. no memories of that. No. And so, how old are you now, Danny? I'm 24. You're 24. Uh, you're in a relationship. You have a daughter. Yes. And you going out with your life. You're a grown man now. Yes. But this still bothers you with your your dad. Yes. And when when was it that you your mom told you that? he raped her, that he picked you up and he shook you? Uh, I was 20 when she had told me. I didn't want to believe her because he's my dad, but I wanted to believe, believe my mom. Be, I wanted to believe her because she wouldn't lie to me some, that serious. She wouldn't lie to me about it. What, and what was the reason that you were told all those years growing up that your dad wasn't in your life? We just, just divorced or, you know. My mom said they were divorced. And they, they that was along. That was it. Did, what, what did you know about your father growing up? The only thing I knew about him was he was an alcoholic and he was in the military. So your mom said, oh, he's in the military yeah. and he's got a problem with booze. Yeah. Do you have doubts that your mom has told the truth? No, I don't have any doubts. So you believe that she, would never, she wouldn't lie to you about she something She wouldn't like lie this. to me about something this serious, no. Now... Before the show, I, I guess your father is here. He took a lie detector test. Your mother took a lie detector test before the show, whether these allegations are true. What if it came back and your mom didn't pass? Then I'm going to be very angry. Because you don't, that's, why would she lie to me like that? You ever tell your mom, you know what, I've never met my father, I'd like to. Do you have any information on him? I'd like to go see my father, pick up the phone, and, and call him, and just talk to him? She, did, she didn't have no, no information on him. She had she no way to contact him? him. I've, looked for, I, I've looked for him on the internet. I've called all over California, and until I stopped looking for him. I mean, I lost hope thinking I was never gonna see him again until the show called me back and said, hey, we found, we found your dad, your father. And then I... Do you want your father in your life? Hopefully he's changed. And yeah, but I'm, I mean, you I mean, you really don't even know. I mean, you've really, you have no recollection of the man. Why is it so important for you to meet him? I, I want to know, I want to know who he is. Do you want to see the son that you haven't seen in 24 years? Yes. My heart's beating like a freight train right now. Would you like to go see a paramedic? Did you shake your son, Daniel, and you answered no? And the result of your lie detector test is... All right, well, Danny, I gotta imagine this is gonna be a, a big day for you one way or the other. You're 24 years old, never seen your father. Today you're gonna get to see him, but before you do, I'm gonna ask you to leave the stage. I'm gonna talk to your father and then I'll bring you back out. Okay. All right, here's uh, Danny's father that he hasn't seen his entire life. Let's bring out Steve. 
How you doing, Steve? Pretty good. Um, you haven't seen your son since he was two, two weeks, weeks old. old. And during these next 24 years, you ever make an effort to see your son? I... It's a real simple question. Phone calls? In the last I made, 20, I no, I'm not asking about phone calls. I'm asking a real simple question. In that time of 24 years, did you ever make an effort to see your son? No, because every time... Okay, well then stand up while you tell the rest of your story. <laughs> And, w and why haven't you made an effort in 24 years? Because it's either I moved around or they moved around. When I found out where they were at, they and I tried contacting them again, they were never at that same spot, or you know, or I'm moving around, going uh, uh, going to my deployments because I was in the Marine Corps, so I, I had to leave every, for every six months to go overseas, and. I had no other, no other way of, tr of trying to get a hold of him. So you didn't keep track of where your family was at? Every time I did, they, they, they relocate or something else. And she went and tell you, okay, I'm here now? The last time I heard, they were in Michigan. And when was that? Ten years ago. So the last time you heard anything about, and you were married to this woman or no? Yes. Oh, you were married to her? Yes. And so you're married, you have a boy, and all this... Things fall apart, you end up getting divorced, right? Yeah. And, she divorced me. And okay, it happens. Last last ten years, you heard once, ten years ago, that they might be in the state of Michigan. You yeah. paid child support all these years? Yeah. Just, you didn't know where the check was going? Well, she got help from the state of Michigan because I couldn't afford to pay it. You were because I was either not working or or I was laid off, or, or How whatever. long did you do in the military? What's that? How long were you in the military I was for? In, I was in active duty five years, and the rest was reserve time. Okay, so you were, you were on, in the Marines for five years, traveling about, but after five years, you came back, and you pretty much can live where you want, right? Yeah. You're not going on deployment after you're no. not on active duty anymore, nope. right? Why didn't you track down your son? Because I didn't know where they were at. You didn't know where they were at? No. You know, part of the reason is your ex-wife tells your son the reason why you're not in his life, the reason why she didn't want to be with you is because at two weeks old, the last time you saw him, you picked up your two-week-old son and you violently shook him and that you also raped her. False accusations. I was brought up better than that. I know better than that. I'm not no stupid. I, you know, I know better than that. So you're saying... No way in hell you shook your baby. Nope. No way in hell you nope. forced yourself upon your wife. Nope. Why would she say these things? I have no idea. No idea? Nope, because... Married, you have a son, all this happens, no idea. No idea. And, again, people that you bring into this world, you've been out of their life for 24 years. Does it, does it bother you at all that you have a son <laughs> that you've missed his whole childhood? Yeah, it does. I, not one day and I don't go by, I don't, I don't think about him. I didn't even know about the accusations until he got a hold of you. So what did you think was causing you to be away from your son all this time? If you didn't even know about the accusations until this show, why would you think, well, what's the reason I'm not in my son's life? Because, I don't know. I, I, I oh, can't answer that. Oh, come on. Who says that? <laughs> I was robbed. No, okay? hold on, hold on a second. It's like me. I'm, I have a little boy. And if 20 years, all of a sudden my wife divorces me, and I don't know why, I don't hear about accusations or allegations, and 20 years would go by, and my son's not in my life, and I don't see him. And one day he's 24. And somebody would ask me, well, why haven't you seen your son? Why hasn't, why hasn't he been in your life? And I'd say, I don't know. I don't know. Money. My only son? My only son? 20 years? I'm going to miss his whole childhood? And at the end of those 20 years, I won't have an answer? I don't know. You say you're because not stupid? I didn't have the... You say answers like that, you just prove yourself wrong. No. I didn't have the money.
exactly like that. For a moment, you were gonna run out the door. Your son's not behind that door. Did you shake your son, Daniel? And you answered no. And the result of your lie detector test is? My heart's beating like a freight train right now. Would you like to go see a paramedic? You were a Marine and you didn't fight to be spend see one day in your son's life? I find that hard to believe. What kind of Marine were you? Not a very good one, I guess. I guess not either. It's because being a Marine is a very, I'm very proud to be in the Marines. I've been in the Marines. It's a thing that I always look back and I, I feel good about that. I did something with my life. But I also know that a lot of things that they taught me that I was in there for stays with me this very day. It will never leave me. And certainly not fighting for your family, fighting for your son. <laughs> One of the things we've been told is that you're a drunk. Is that true? No. So alcohol never came into play with the nope. cause of some of your problems? Nope. Alcohol never had a, a role in you being homeless. Nope. So you were this healthy, hardworking guy, and yep. you weren't able to get a job, travel, do anything. Are you really telling me that? Yes. I, alcohol had nothing to do with it. Were you drinking? Nope. You didn't drink at all? I drank, but I didn't drink it when I was there. Did you tr drink after you got out and drink enough where you were nope. drunk at times? No. Nope. No. No drugs? No drugs. Nothing. So no. really, no, no, nothing holding you back whatsoever. That's right. OK. That, and you feel good about that? Anything you want to say? I wish I caught, got a hold of it, because I tried. Believe me, I, I, I honestly tried. So if you weren't working and you couldn't even support yourself, how were you paying child support? It's called back child support. I don't, don't care what you call it. If you're she homeless and you're not working, well, she, how did you pay it? Yeah, it could build up. I can understand. Yeah, you're wanted for back child support. You're wanted for a ton of dough. But how were you able to pay it if you don't work? When I was working, they were taking it out of my check. When was the last time you were working? Well, I'm working now. Yeah, but your son's not a little boy anymore. Well, I understand that. He's supporting himself. Back child support. Bad child support. Yes. And how much do you owe? A lot. <laughs> Can you give me a rough number? Well, when 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 it started, it was eighty thousand dollars. Now so I'm, I'm making. I'm taking a guess. It's down to sixty thousand. You're down to sixty. Yes. So I would say that eighty was probably the whole thing, right? You never paid. I don't know how how they worked that thing. Okay? Yeah, you don't know a lot. And they, so the state of Oregon is, is taking money on my check every okay. month. How do you feel that you weren't there at all for your son his whole life? Bad. Really? Yeah. Does it, <laughs> eat, does it eat you up? Yeah. What, what? I don't believe you, that's why. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you the truth, Steve. I, I don't know, 24 years goes by and not one success story in there about contacting her? Contacting your son? Last time I, when I talked to him, it, the last time I talked to him, he was 10 years old. And they called me. I don't know where they got my number from. <laughs> and did she say, okay, you're 10. Where are you calling from? I want to stay in touch with you? Yes, I did. <laughs> they gave me a phone number. They gave me a phone number. I tried calling it back and it was disconnected. Disconnected. So, you're telling the truth about this rape? Yes. You didn't do it? No. And you're telling the truth about shaking your son? Yes. And you, when your wife said, she must have told you at some point, I want to divorce you? She didn't say anything like that to me. What she did she just say? did it. She just did it. And what happened? You signed them? Yeah, okay, let's get divorced. What could I do? I mean, No, I'm asking you, what did you yeah, do? Yeah, I signed them. Okay. And did you, when you signed these divorce papers, did you say, okay, what's, what's my rights here? When am I going to see my son? I don't remember. I had, they didn't tell me nothing. I have to, oh, I had it in the documents. 
Oh my God. Shake your head. Yeah, I, I don't believe it. I want to take some laminate hands like that. That, you know what, that's how, that's how a father's not in their son's life for 24 years, because you don't have any answers. You tell me you're going to get divorced, and you don't ask why, you're, when you're going to get to see your son, now that you're getting divorced, and you say, well, nobody told me anything. I didn't know. I didn't know where she was. I was homeless. I couldn't support myself. I couldn't do this. I couldn't do that. And you wonder why I shake my head? There's two reasons I ain't pummeled you yet. One my mom, and two, there ain't no fight in this shit. My heart's beating like a freight train right now. Would you like to go see a paramedic? We have the most passive Marine I've ever met in my life. <laughs> the most, you probably took the bayonet off the rifle, right? <laughs> unloaded the weapon, <laughs> shooting backwards. <laughs> so I'm gonna ask you to leave my stage and we're gonna meet your ex-wife and find out what she has to say. All right, here's his ex-wife. This is Danny's mother, Cheryl, let's bring her out. I'll, I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Where is he? Were you, were you going to run? No, I was just going to go outside the other doors there. All right, so you have no intention of leaving. No, heck no. Okay, because I would think after 24 years, this is your big chance well, to yeah, see your son. Just... You're not going to run. I was just going to go outside. You know why you were going to oh. do that. There's nothing outside that door. Your son's not behind that door. <laughs> so about 24 years ago, Cheryl, you met uh, Steve, right? Young, good-looking Marine. Probably liked that uniform on him, right? Yeah. Looked nice. Yeah. Married him. Yeah. Things going good, get pregnant. Actually, he had to leave for Okinawa, which he did. And I didn't, I wrote to him constantly and talked to him when I could, but I didn't see him until he came back when Danny was two weeks old. Now that night, the night he did get there to Michigan, I was so excited. Because I, I... You haven't seen him a long time. He's no, deployed in Okinawa. and I adored him so, and... Was your son born while he was overseas? Yeah. And so he, you he must got, have been excited? I went through the entire pregnancy without him and uh, had Danny. And I, I adored him so much, and I was so happy to see him when he did get there. We had a nice night, and we just kind of hung out and talked and watched TV. And, and uh, I held Dan, and that was the only real family night we ever had. And it came time to crash. I laid Danny down in, in my room. And uh, I guess, you know, Stephen had been away from his wife in Okinawa for a long time, and he wanted to do some of the wild thing, you know, which I could understand. But I had just had a baby. Just two weeks before. Yeah. And, and I tried to explain to him, you know, that I, I couldn't do that. And, and he didn't listen. And I kept telling him no and trying to push him off me. Danny was three feet away in the crib. And I thought, well, I could scream because my dad was in the other room. He'd have come in there and killed him dead. You know, and, and I thought, how, what am I going to tell Danny if that happens? 
you know, so then it was just, by then it was pretty much done. The next morning, Danny woke up. I cried myself to sleep. And he woke up and, and he was, you know, just kind of went very little. He wanted his bath. So I asked Stephen to hold him so he wouldn't cry and I could go warm up his bottle. I went out in the kitchen and took the bottle out of the refrigerator and stuck it in the pan, you know, in the water. And I heard yelling. And I heard Stephen Tom yell at him to shut up. And okay, maybe I was a little docile uh, about the whole attacking me thing. But I got angry. And I looked down the hallway and he was shaking Danny. And I shot down the hallway and I took him away from him. And I'm, he, don't hold him again until you can act like a father. After that, later in the day, you know, he had, I had bought him some beer there before he came, you know, so he was like really sauced, really early. And then I realized he was nice when he was sauced. So uh, when he got low on beer, I was like, oh, you're out of beer. Let me get you a beer, honey. <laughs> Do you need another one? Oh, look at this 12 pack is empty. I'll go get you another one. And because you were afraid of him sober. Yeah. So I kept him toasted the entire time he was there. <laughs> and so I took we took him to the airport. And you know, dad drove me and him to the airport. And he's like, just think pretty soon you're going to be come living with me. I'm like, yep. You know, because I wasn't even going to. You know, he got, on the, he got on the airplane. The next day, I went to a divorce lawyer. You know, my dad. If you're truly sorry, man up, or you will not have nothing to do with me or your granddaughter. The story doesn't end when our guests leave my stage. Stay tuned until the conclusion of the show. You'll never believe what's been going on since they left. As far as um, his claims that he didn't have no way to get a hold of Danny, he could have called. He had my parents' phone number. He could have called him anytime. I found him because Danny wanted him found. I called our divorce lawyer, his divorce lawyer, and I said, "This is not about child support. I don't want nothing from it. But will you please give him this phone number so he can call Danny because Danny wants to talk to him." And how old was Danny at the time? I think he was like 10. And, uh, he, d and he did. He, and he called. And uh, he said he wanted to see Danny. You know, and Danny is really excited. So um, we offered to pay for what one way, either his airplane there or his airplane back, if he wanted to come see Danny. Well, then he said, well, I'll, I can't really afford a motel room or food. So I talked to my husband, and he said, yeah, you know, he can stay here if you can deal with that, honey. And I said, you'll be here, and yeah, you know, it's for Danny, yeah. Well, then he said he couldn't cover the, air, the other airfare. And I'm so his like, line was... Uh a full expense paid trip, then he was gonna come see his son. Yeah. But other than that, he and wasn't And I coming. thought, bull, pucky, you know. <laughs> and Danny had wanted one of those 64 things, Nintendo. And I'm like, Danny, this is the deal. Your father doesn't wanna pay anything to come see you. And I think he's being a jerk. Now, I know you want that Nintendo really bad. If you think he's being a jerk, I'll get you the Nintendo. 
If you think that it's okay, that you still really want to see him bad, we will absolutely pay him. We'll get him here and you can see him. Which, okay, maybe I shouldn't have offered the Nintendo. But I was angry, you know. And uh, he took the Nintendo. <laughs> You know, we do the show, and we bring people on and listen to both sides of the story. And to me, this one's real easy. You got a man on stage who his wife says she wants a divorce, doesn't know why, doesn't know when he's going to ever see his child again, doesn't know why he hasn't seen his child in 24 years. I don't know. If that's his answer to everything. I don't know. I don't know. And then you have a woman that comes out and tells a story to the detail comes home, he did this, he did that. Times and dates, remembering how your father reacted. How is it one person can remember everything as opposed to somebody who can't give me a decent damn answer to anything? <laughs> Do you want me to bring out Steve? If you want. Uh, it's not what I want. Right. It's yeah. what you want. I think Are in you order okay to with get, it? if you're going to bring Danny out here, I want to be out here for him. Well, I'm going to bring Steve out first. I'm going to let you confront him before I bring Danny out. And I want to get to those lie detector results before I, I get to Danny. Okay. <laughs> Let's bring out your ex. Let's bring out Steve. It's going to be sensitive, Steve. <laughs> you okay there, Steve? Yeah. Thanks. Is... My heart's beating like a freight train right well, now. Well, I'm sure it would be. Kind of like after a three mile run, huh? You scared? Nervous. It's got to suck to hear the truth. But I didn't do any of those things. Or you don't remember doing them. You know what? I listened to that story, and I might be wrong. I could go out there and read those lie detector results and have egg on my face. You got, you got two choices right now. So you want to go out there and yeah, out there. see your ex-wife? <clears throat> do you want to see the son that you haven't seen in 24 years? Yes. If he chooses to see you, I can't promise that. Or would you like to go see a paramedic? I'll go out there. Uh, totally on. This is your decision. Let's go. I actually never thought that I would have to look at you again. So I feel a little odd about it. At the same time, what happened between us happened between us. And I can let it go. But Danny's hurting. I don't want Danny hurting. Do you want him hurting? No. And I apologize for, you know, not trying to get old him sooner. I... I've moved around so many times, you know, that I, you know, things get misplaced. Don't give me babbling bullpucky because I know better. <laughs> you could, Your father took a lie detector test. Did you shake your son, Daniel, and you answered no? And the result of your lie detector test is...
there is an opportunity here. Danny's here. You're a grandfather. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'm not trying to be mean. What the hell do you care? What do you care that your grandfather? What the hell do you care? You haven't been a father for 24 years. You missed every day of your son's life. And why? Because you moved around a lot? Big deal. I'm going to say this, y'all. You're one of the most believable, most well-together people I've ever met in my life. I know you're telling the truth about everything. You said, though, this is an opportunity for your son. You want to give your son whatever he wants, even after everything you've been through. So I'm not even going to dignify for Steve your lie detector results. I'm not. I believe you. That's good enough for me. <laughs> You said that you're putting it past whatever happened between you and him, so I'm gonna let that go. That's between you and him, and that's in the past. What you wanna deal with is what he did to Danny, and we'll, we're gonna respond to that. Do you have enough strength in you to stand up for your lie detector result? Did you shake your son Daniel when he was an infant? And you answered no. And the result of your lie detector test is you didn't tell the truth. You didn't tell the truth. Don't, don't act like, you know, you're surprised. You know what you did. You know what you did when you came home. You know what you did as a Marine, you know, spending a year overseas, coming home, a little drunk, that's my wife. I'm going to get what I want. Baby crying a little too long makes you mad. You're going to shake a baby. I didn't do that. You didn't do that. No. But you can't pass the lie detector test, huh? You listening to this woman's story the whole time she's been on on this stage? Yes. You believe her? No. I know I do. No. Oh, no. Okay. But what's the, what part of your story are we supposed to believe? The I don't know part? So I'm going to go back now and see if your son wants to meet Mr. I don't know. See if he wants to. <laughs> you got a great mom. And I respect the hell out of your mom. And she's mature and she's grown up. And she wants whatever you want. She wants to give you whatever you want. But whatever happened between, I believe your mom. There's no question. Your mom's telling the truth about everything. But as far as what your father did to you, shaking you, he took a lie detector test, and he failed. He hasn't been in your life. I don't even know if this is a guy, just me personally speaking, I don't even know if I'd want a guy like that in my life, around my kid. But it's your father, I know you've been hurt. So you want to see your father, you can go up on stage, but it's your decision what you want to do. Let's go. Sorry, Danny. Uh-uh. Sorry I ain't gonna cut it. I have a five-month-old daughter. The thought never crossed my mind to pick her up and shake her. Why? Why'd you do it? I didn't. <sighs> the lie detector test said you lied. Man up. Tell the truth. If you want anything to do with me, 
if you want anything to do. If you're truly sorry, man up, or you will, not, you will not have nothing to do with me or your granddaughter. Okay, I lied. Cheryl, I'm very sorry. I really am. Can you ever forgive me? God says I have to. Can we be friends in these? Well, that's kind of pushing it. Okay. <laughs> there ain't one day that I have not thought about you. Yes, I should have tried to get a hold of you a lot better than this. Uh, and yes, I, I guess I don't have any answers why I didn't do it. But I am, believe it, I am sorry. I am, like I said, I am very, very sorry. I apologize to, to your mom and I apologize to you. 24 is a year, years a little too late, huh? Yes, it is. You know, I, in front of your son, I'm just going to say it. I think you are a dirtbag. I think. <clears throat> I don't like any man that forces himself upon a woman, whether he's husband or not. She's a woman, and she has control over herself and what she chooses to do with her body. And I just don't like men that aren't there for their children, especially 24 years. There's no good excuse for anything you did up here. And Danny, I'm not telling you what to do. I know you've been hurt for a lot of years. And I know you've probably been waiting for this moment your whole life. And I know part of this show was if he passed the lie detector test, that he would get to see his granddaughter, your daughter, I'm, gonna, I'm going out on a limb here. I'm going to trust you just this once. So I'm going to let you go see, I'm going to let you see my daughter. I'm going to let you hold her. You want to go with them and take them to meet my daughter? Let's go, Mom. I got to say, you're one lucky bastard. You don't need me anymore at this point. I hope I helped you. I hope I helped you. I hope this helps your family in some way. But at this point, your mom did a great job raising a young man. And you can do everything on your own from this point and dealing with your father. And I commend you. You turned out to be a really good, really good guy. All right? Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you. You did a great job raising your son. Thank you and bless you. Good luck to you. my little girl. Yes. Very good looking child. I, 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 I commend you. I have brought the father of my child here because he doesn't do nothing. Absolutely nothing for her. Old. She's nine months old now. And he's never seen his baby. I just want, want him to, to do what he has to do as far as sending me money. What's his reason for not wanting to send money for his child? It's, it's just excuses, excuses, excuses. Are you going to let him see his baby? <laughs> no, not, not unless he gives me money. Everything with you is give me money. Da give me damn money, right it is. Then you'll damn see right it's child. expensive to have a child. I, I'm raising her by myself, and you're not doing anything. <laughs> Why punish the baby? Do you want to see your yes, baby? Yes, sir. Real bad. The, do you have a wallet on you? Yes, I got a wallet. Take your wallet out. I told you, show me the money, and then you will get to see the baby, oh. Alvin. I told you.
Welcome to the show. My first guest is Chantal. You're 19 years old. Why are you here? Because I have brought the father of my child here because he doesn't do nothing. Absolutely and your nothing nine for months her. Old. She's nine months old now. It all started when it was two years ago when we started working. And he was the general manager over there, and I was a cashier. And then he started talking to me and flirting with me, and I gave in. And then we started dating, and then like four months passed, we started having sex. And then he would tell me that he loved me, and he wanted a baby from me. But I told him I was only 17 at the time, and I was still in high school, and I had plans for after high school. I wanted to go to college. And how old was he at the time? He was, he told me he was 27. But I found out later on that he was 32. Okay. Eventually, I started finding out his real age. I found out that he got three different mother or three different babies from three different women. And he had got fired too on, th on top of that from stealing the deposits. And I didn't know nothing about that, you know? So then on top of that, that was a turnoff to me. So I didn't want to be with him. And then eventually he, he wanted to go back to Georgia and he wanted me to go. I don't want a guy like that to have, to have three baby mamas and then wanted a baby from me when I, you know, I was only 17 and I had plans for my future. So before he went to Georgia, yes, I did have sex with him. And why? why? Just to make him happy, I guess. But why, why would you care about making him happy? I mean, he's a thief. He's a guy going around having babies with all these women. Yeah. Why, why, why would you want to make him happy? How about making yourself happy? <laughs> and, and, and believe me, and I'm on your side here, okay? I was naive at the time, though, Steve, you know, and I just did it. And so, yes, we had sex, and after the day we had sex, I stopped taking my birth control pills because I wasn't planning to have sex no more with, with nobody, you know? So a couple of months passed, and I started craving stuff, you know, and I, got, I found out I was pregnant. So I had told him that I was pregnant, and he didn't seem, seem happy, like how before when when we was having sex and stuff, he wants a child for me. He wasn't happy like now, that. Did he, did he leave already? Yes. Okay, so you called him up on the phone. Yes. And you said, guess what, I'm pregnant. Yes. And he didn't seem happy at no. all. He was like, are you serious? I was like, yeah, I'm serious. You messed up my future, you know? I mean, I love my baby to death, you know, but I mean. But this is the one you planned on. Yeah. And especially this young too, and I just had graduated, you know, and. <laughs> I wanted to go to college, but I can't now. <laughs> Don't worry about it. So, so I told him that, and then he said he was going to do this and that for my baby as far as buying the baby stroller and, and car seat and crib, and I was working still while I was pregnant. I worked till my ninth month. Um, I still didn't receive anything, but he would text me and stuff saying that, um, that he... He wants to be with me and stuff, but why would you want to be with me if you still haven't done nothing for your child? So eight months go by, you're almost ready to give birth, and yes. he, hasn't, he didn't give it's you anything? Nothing still. Not one dollar? No. And he said he was working all the time, and... Did he say, was he going to come up and be there for the birth of the baby? Yes, he did say that, but he never did. So that was just, that, that really, like, really pissed me off, you know? So I was all like, you're not going to see your... Your child, you're not going to know her name until you give me money. And when she was three months, he finally gave in and he sent a hundred dollars. That's all he sent, you know, and and that's that, that's crazy, I think. So why why are you here today? I'm here because I want you to to tell him why why he should do something because he he is the father of. Of, of my so child. So you want him to provide for your child? Yes, and do what he's supposed to do, and do what he and do what he wanted to do in the first place. Have a baby from me. The baby's here already. What is he doing? Nothing. And so now your daughter's nine months. She's nine months now. So really, for the past eighteen months since you got pregnant, and now she's nine months old. 
Nothing. He hasn't done a hundred bucks. Ex except for a hundred dollars. And I had to pay for the stroller and everything like that, the, the crib. But I know that I have to, you know, because she's she she's my daughter, but I just didn't want nothing to do with him because he just sent a hundred dollars. Well, how are you supporting your daughter? I'm working two jobs. You work two jobs? Yes. Well, see, I mean, here's a young girl, 19 years old. I'm you, trying to do it by myself. And you're doing it by yourself, right? <laughs> While I'm working, my grandma, my father has to take care of the baby because I can't afford daycare for So your family's right helping now. you out? Yes. But the father's not? Yes. And he's never seen his baby? I sent him pictures on the phone. But he's never came and no. held his baby? He's never... Kissed he, his baby. No, he said in order for for him that I see it as, in order for him to, to do something for my child is for me to, to have sex with him again. You haven't done nothing for her. Why it always got to be your way? Because I'm the mother and I, I, I'm raising her by myself and you're not doing anything. <laughs> do you want to see your yes, baby? Yes, sir. Real bad. The, do you have a wallet on you? Yes, I got a wallet. Take your wallet out. So he's telling you that he'll come back and he'll help support the baby. If he's if, with me. If you'll sleep with him. Yes. And what do you tell him? I tell him no, because... I tell him no because I already know what he's about. He already has three kids, and he says he's he works, but I don't see nothing coming in. And I think it's so crazy that, how are you gonna say that you work all the time, and he says that he doesn't have time to go, to go wire money to me because it's so far away. It's, it's just excuses, 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 and I'm tired of it. <laughs> Why would you want a guy like this to have a relationship with your daughter? That's why I don't Or want do you want him to? No, I don't. I just don't want, want him to, to do what he has to do as far as sending me money. And then I try to tell him as far as like, uh, um, like. Let's say, let, let me ask you this. What if he starts sending you, you know, $400 a month? I mean, that might be crazy. I, I don't know. But I'm saying, what if he starts sending you a sum of money? that really helped you out, and he said, okay, I know I can't be with you, you made that perfectly clear, but I'm gonna do the right thing, and I'm gonna support your baby, our baby. That, that's awesome, that's all I want him to would do. You, would you then let him have a relationship with your daughter? Of course, yeah. Do you, at some level, do you want him back? Like, do you think, like? I think about it all the time, but then, like, what he put me through, no, I don't. So you really don't want him back? No, I don't. And he says he loves me and stuff. How are you going to love somebody when you don't even support what you made for and what you said you wanted to, you know? And it's, it's so hard. It's so hard. And it's like when we talk on the phone, I don't even want to talk to him no more because he says the same thing. He says the same thing as far as, like, he doesn't want to, um, to, to send money or nothing. What's his reason for not wanting to send money for his child? Excuse, because he, he can't drive all the way to the store and just put, put money and wire it to me. And since this all happened, you have your baby, how has this affected you? It affected me because I'm working two, two jobs and my family is, is basically helping me support my child, what he should be doing, you know? And, it, and it's so hard for me. And then, Steve, you should see him... Like, sometimes he'd be having, like, watches and stuff, gold, gold in his mouth, thinking he's all hot, hot stuff and stuff, but he has a responsibility to do, and he, he, he doesn't do it. Do you know if he takes care of any of his other babies? No, but from what I know is his oldest one, or, yeah, his oldest one stays with his mom. Is your baby here today? Yes, yeah, she is. Are you going to let him see his baby? <laughs> no. Not, not unless he gives me money. And I know it's not all about money, but having a baby is all about money. She's growing up, 
you know, and, and it's so hard. I got to buy formula all the time, and, and I'm working, and then I have to pay my bills. Well, maybe if he helped out a little bit, you could maybe work one job, and then you'd exactly. be able to spend more time with your child. Exactly, and then I, mean, I could put her in daycare and stuff, and then I want to go to school, so I have to put my school aside, you know? It just gets me very, very upset. What do you, when, when he comes out here, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? He's just going to stand there and say, and say the same thing. But what I want to tell him is he needs to do something for his child or else he'll never see her. So if he doesn't give you money, there's no way no. you're going to let this guy see no. his baby. No. I don't blame you. And I'm, he thinks I'm it's all you. about money, so it's not. If he takes his wallet out and gives you every dollar in it, will you let him see the baby? Because all your stuff here, right? <laughs> Throw it up there, Mike. Can, you can? Can I? Can yes, I go through all your stuff? Yes, sir. This is your chance. I want you to stand up. When he comes out of there, I want you to confront him. I want you to be strong. Yes. Let's bring out Alvin. You should be ashamed of yourself, not doing nothing for your child. You wanted a child from me while we was in love, so-called. And now I have her. Now she's nine months, and all I get is $100. That's ridiculous. I don't appreciate you coming out of here lying on me like that. Lying? Are you serious? You saying I'm lying? Yes, you lying. How? Let me know how. Because I've always tried to contact you. When I moved and that, say what? When I moved to Atlanta, I told you. When okay. You come here. I don't I want to. Take I don't want. Wh why do you want that? I don't want nothing to do with you, Alvin. I really don't. I while we was together, while we was together in Florida, right? You never took me out. We just went straight to your house and, you know and relaxed. You why? know why? Because I was always working. So what? That was my job. That was your job. No, 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 no. You're supposed to take me out and and give me everything, Alvin if you so-called loved me. But as a GM, you know I had to be in there a certain number of hours. But you was never there, what, though. What, 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 you know what, what I don't understand is what we're Ex getting off track is, you're this hardworking guy, right? <laughs> yes, sir. And you're a GM of something, right? Right. Okay, so you're making a good buck, right? Yes, sir. I mean, have you, how much money have you sent to this young lady that you had a baby with? I sent $100. In nine Christmas. months since your baby's been why? born. Why? Why a hundred dollars? Why only a hundred dollars? I tried and tried and tried to contact her. But you I want me to, to stay to with my... you. I don't want to be with you because we have a child. It's not about me, Alvin. It's about Taylor. Okay. What do you mean, okay? When, and you give me excuses all I the time. When I called you, when I called you, I tried to come see my baby. I drove to and Orlando. Then what? And then what do you ask me? When, when I get the hotel room and when we spend time, are you going to spend the night? No, I don't want to spend the night okay, with you. Okay, it was all. Oh, exactly. It was all about um, having sex, right? No. So what was it about? I drove all the way to Orlando to see you and my baby. Why to see I me? I got down there. Why to see me? I don't want to see you. I wasted my gas and my time coming to see my baby. You wasted your gas and your time to see your baby. I didn't even get to see my baby. Exactly, but I mean, what are you, you talking didn't have about? No money to give me. I had over a thousand dollars. But in my you pocket. didn't give me no money, Alvin. Because everything with you is give me money. Damn, give me damn money, right it and is. Then you damn see right it is expensive to have a child if you know you got three of them. I understand that. No, you don't understand. Yes, I do understand. No, you don't. Then you would be supporting her. And a hundred dollars. What? What the hell is is a hundred dollars? That's half of what the baby needs, Alvin. That was just for Christmas. Chris, a hundred dollars. What the hell is a hundred dollars? Huh? Let 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 me know, please. Okay. And what about when I say okay? I will come down. I will grab the baby. I'll take it to the mall shopping. No, I don't. I don't need no, you. no, no, no. And I, I told you, I don't you. want just you and the baby. It's it's me and the baby. Why well, can't it be just me and her? Why? Why Why should I let you do that? Huh? If I'm the well, father, so I'll well, you, right. you haven't done nothing, though. You've, you've never even met your baby, right? <laughs> yes, sir. You've never, never... Held, you've never held your baby. <laughs> right. So wouldn't, do you think that's wise that she's just going to turn over the baby to you? The baby's never met you, 
never seen you, and she's just going to let this nine-month-old baby be with the stranger. Do you really think that's a smart decision, if, Alvin? If I'm the father, I think I deserve It doesn't matter. Right. This child doesn't know that you're the father. Exactly. You haven't been around. Exactly. If I came to be around, though, all my other kids know me. All your other kids know all you. Them. Do you support all your other kids? Yes, I do. Stop you, lying. No, hold no, on a second. Don't. Hold on. Yes, I do. You write the checks, <laughs> and those checks yes, are right. going. I pay child support for all and of them. And when they call me and need things, what I send it me? to them. So why what not this child? Why not this girl? Why not your child? I don't even with know Because he wants to be with me. Only That's thing I know I is the first name. Him. Listen, first I, of all, Elvin, Elvin, you were 33 or 32 years old when you seduced a 17-year-old girl. All right. We're not even going to get into that. You know what I mean? You seduced this young girl, and you got her pregnant, and that's your responsibility. You're bringing all these children into the world, and you're not, not there for any of them. You're down in Atlanta. Other people are raising your kids. Your mother's raising your oldest, right? Yes, sir. Okay, you're not raising them, right? I'm supporting them. You're bro. supporting them. Right. So you're supporting that child. Then the other two, you say you give money. Do you have any proof of that? Yes, sir. And then I just got. Are you punishing? Are you punishing this baby because she won't be with you? Tell you the truth. Yeah, I thought like that. Why though? Yes. <laughs> this is your child we're talking about. No matter what your relationship with is her. That's what I'm saying. You it's not about this baby me anymore. Into this, world. this is your flesh and blood. Why would you, no matter what, no matter what you want to be with her, or you want to try to punish? Why are you punishing the baby, Alvin? It really hurt me. You're really hurt. I'm really hurt. Just like Why that. do you deserve to see your baby, Alvin? Because I'm the father. You're not a father. You don't provide. You don't do anything. Nothing for your child. And you play a scam. <laughs> Alvin. You're really hurt. Yes, sir. How uh, how hurt are you? I'm hurt. You're so hurt that you're you're sending money to make sure that baby's fed. Are you so hurt? Think about it. What does a child need more than anything in the world when it's born? They what, need their mother. They, they need their mother, right? Yes. Even if, uh, they need their father, but more than anything, baby they needs need their mother. mother. Mm -hmm. Yes. But because you're not supplying any money. You're not doing a thing and stepping up to the plate doing and sending the money. Myself. This woman has to go out and work two jobs. So she has to spend most of her time working to support that baby. Mm -hmm. She's given her money to support that baby that the two of you brought into the world exactly. together. And you're not contributing a dime. A hundred bucks, hey, you don't get credit for that. That's a hundred bucks, too bad. That should be a hundred dollars a week. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's, that, that's what I'm talking about. Just like with all, with all my other kids, you know, I know their socials, I know everything. At, at my new job I got, I make pretty decent. You know, I got my own place, everything. And they came around, they asked for, do we want to add our kids on insurance? I did that. Elvin, hold on. I did that. Hey, you know what? And why I Elvin, have... Elvin, hey, you know what? I, I don't want to hear the whole story. All I know is you don't send the money. You know where she's at. You can send the check, but you don't. And why don't you, Alvin? I don't even know my daughter's name. I know Tayala. No. That's all you, I know. That's I don't why know you when spent she... $100, because to get her name, Alvin. I don't know when that, she was that's born. It. I got to send you money for everything. Damn yeah, right. Of course. I know nothing about that it. That I don't know I who's walking. Wait, wait. I don't I know wait, wait. about Whose fault is that? I don't think it's my fault. You don't think wow. it's your fault? Any normal woman, Alvin, regardless, this? they'll let you know the name or whatever. But Are you a man? No, well, hold on a second. Are you a man? No, yes, no man. he ain't. Do you think that's re yes. responsible, you know, that you're going around <laughs> and you're having sex with these women and you're bringing the children into the world and you're not there for them? Oh, yeah, I'm supporting them. I'm just not there being the father. <laughs> Was it a good decision to get a 17-year-old girl pregnant? Who had plans in the future was, for herself? Or were you just being selfish? But, were you just being selfish as a man? I, I want to take care of my needs. I really don't care about her. I just want to take care of my needs. No, at the time, I loved her. You loved her. Yes, sir. And so you loved her so much, you went to Atlanta, and you found out she was pregnant, and you sent, in the last 18 months, $100. That's real love. 
You know what real love is? Looking past the pettiness. The, I can't have you. The, yeah. you know what? It's I'm going to take care of my me. child. I'm going to make sure it's fed no matter what. You know? She's, you know what? She's still a kid. She really is. She's still a kid. You're a grown man. Yeah, she is going to be emotional. As a young mother, 19 years old, raising a child by, by herself, and then you, you got the dough, but you won't send it. So calm. Because you want to hold dough. it over her head. And you know, yeah, you say you love her. You don't love her. You just want to sleep with her. Yes. That's the truth of it. And it's so pathetic. It's so pathetic, man. It's not about that anymore, I'm Alvin. over that now. Oh, now. I'm what? over that. Why now, though? Okay. Oh, okay. Huh? Well, if you're now. over it. Okay, now you're over it, right? Yes. Then, then give her some money. It's not all about that. Then give, her, then give your baby some money. I do what I got to do. But I want to see my baby. You're not doing you, you're that. You're not going to see her, her until I wanna you see give her me money, today Alvin. Before I leave. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Yes. What are you going to say see about her that? Today. You're not going to see her unless I get money, Alvin. I know, you, I know you must think it's all about money to me, but it's not. Did you ask him to come be with you when you delivered the baby? Yes. Why no, you, you did not. But you, because I you called said, you. No, but I you asked said you, Could though. I be that with you? And you told me no. I don't want you nowhere near me. Well, you tell I, me that all the time. Exactly. I, I, I wonder you. why though, Alvin, because you don't do anything you for ask your him, daughter. Did you ask him to be in the delivery room? Yes, I did. But then he, but then he got me so upset, you know, because he's saying the same thing, and I just didn't want him there. But still, if he really loved me and if it was that serious, you know, he would be there. You know, Elvin, you're a grown man. Yes, sir. Why, why, why does it take someone to say, Elvin, send money to your child? You know what? Start supporting your children. And I even asked her, if he comes out there and says, I'm not going to demand sex and I'm going to give you the money so you can take care of your child, she'll let you see the baby. Of course. So what? What, what and is, it is the problem here? It is all about money too, it's Alvin. It's all about. It is, of that course. To you. Yes, damn right. It's it ain't nothing about, else about me okay, and you. No, 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 no. Be, why it always got to be your way? Because I'm the mother and I, I had her, Alvin. I, I'm raising her by myself, and you're not doing anything. <laughs> And, that's what, and, and, and then on top of that, you, you, you want her to have your last name. Come on, are you serious? And then you want her, and then you want to file for her. No, you're not going to do that. Why should I let you do that? Let, please let me know. Because I'm the father. Because you're the freaking father. Are, are you serious? Yes. So what you're saying is you're just going to have babies and just ask the baby mamas to, to, to file the, their kids that you don't even support? You I can't do, do that. You don't support my kid. I don't even know your kid. So what, though? You but it's your it kid. Her. It's Come your on. kid. You had the chance to see you and hold your daughter for the first time. And you didn't bring one damn dollar. Getting yours, you don't seem like a dumb guy, and you work. You're not a bum. You go out. You're saying you're supporting your other kids. You go out. You make money, right? Yes, sir. Okay, and you're respectful. You call me sir, so you're not some like just bum that doesn't care, and you know. But how about why punish the baby? That's what. That's all I want to get to. your child because no matter what your you know your problems with her don't you as an adult don't you as the 35 year old rise above the pettiness and say okay you can even say man she drives me crazy you know and she's but again you're the one who you got into a, a relationship with a teenager you know and teenagers mm -hmm. can't be emotional and they probably get very emotional when they're out working two jobs and they don't have a support system. She's too young to be having a child at 17. You caused that to happen. You caused her to act this way. <laughs> she feels alone. You leave. You go to Atlanta. So what I'm saying is it's real simple to correct this problem here. You want to see your child? 
Do you want to see your yes, baby? Yes, sir. Real bad. The, do you have a wallet on you? Yes, I got a wallet. Take your wallet out. I Take your wallet out. <laughs> Nothing funny, Harvey. Nothing funny. He says he's got a wallet. If he takes his wallet out and gives you every dollar in it, will you let him see the baby? Yes, I would. Will let you him. let him hold the baby? Yes. If he takes his wallet out right now and gives you every dollar in that wallet, you're on tape, you're agreeing to let him see his baby. Yes. And we'll go straight back to the green room. But that's if he has money, though. Let's see. Nine months, 100 bucks. Nothing in there. I didn't bring nothing with me. Why? Because I didn't. Because you knew. How, come, how, how would you come to Chicago and not bring a dollar with you? I didn't bring anything with me. Why? I just didn't. Come on, Alvin. And then Why you didn't you bring anything mm -hmm. with you? I just didn't. You got a watch on you? <laughs> I didn't bring nothing. Nothing. Because huh? maybe you thought, Steve's going to ask me to give something up. <laughs> no. No. This grown man, 35 years old, he's GM. And he comes to Chicago and doesn't bring a dollar in his pocket. Now I work at a chemical plant now. So you put your GM of a chemical plant, right? Or you work at the chemical plant? Yes, sir. You work 40-hour week? Um, 48. 48. So you get a little overtime, huh? Yes, sir. <laughs> so you're making a decent buck, right? Yes, sir. Okay. You grown man, you come to Chicago, not one stinking dollar on you. Oh, I didn't bring anything. Really. <laughs> He ain't going to really? see my baby then. Uh, so if you were thirsty or, you know, got hungry or anything and we weren't around, how were you going to feed yourself? Wouldn't even came. You wouldn't even have came. Not to see your baby. No. Mm -hmm. You see? Because I figured we'd you sell it at home. you sell that at home? Yes, sir. You, why didn't you sell it at home for the previous nine months, the previous 18 months? I tried and I tried and I tried. You tried and you tried to and tried. To get back with me. When you sent that no, $100, didn't. when you sent that $100, why didn't you send $200? Why didn't you send $500? Why didn't you send $1,000? Exactly. Why didn't you send 1000 bucks? Here, this should cover a couple months. Okay. I sent her that 100 and the next thing I know, hey, she gave me just the first name of the baby, not even the middle name. I don't know a social security number. You got an ATM? I don't know anything. You got an ATM card on you? No, I don't even. Just... <laughs> you don't have an ATM card. All my you money see is how home. cheap he is? He, but, but he works so much hours, Steve. And Seriously, he can't. Alvin, you came here because you said you wanted to see your baby. All my money is home. I don't use a bank. You don't use I a got bank. a safe. You got a safe. Yes, sir. And sir? it stays in that safe, right? That's where it stays. And that baby can't get any access to that money, can it? Can't nobody get it. Can't nobody. But not me. even your own children. Just me. Not even your own children. I you mean, they, a... I'll give it to them. Well, but, the, why know. not? Well, you know what the purpose of the show was. You didn't think that maybe that, that was a possibility? That once you held your child, you'd want to give her some money? Tell you the truth, I didn't think she asked for anything today. Oh. I didn't. You thought that you were going to come here. I flew you up here, right? You're going to come up here on my dime and that you just come up here and, oh, I want to see my baby. That and then easy. I was just going to do it without <laughs> you giving her one dime. The one time I did go, I you had $1,000 you know in my yeah, pocket. Yeah, 1000 bucks. But and you just didn't show me it, though. I told you, show me the money, and then you will get to see the baby, oh, Alvin. No. I told you. This is, this is all your stuff here, right? <clears throat> Throw it up here, Mike. <laughs> Got on a plane and you came to Chicago, no ATM card and not one single dollar. No. No. You want to go through, can I go through all your stuff? Hey. Can, you can. Can I? Can yes, I go sir. through all your stuff? Yes, sir. I'm a man of my word. And if you don't, I promise I'm going to show up there with a lot of cameras and I will embarrass you and I will make you look like a fool. I promise you that. You got a cell phone in here. Mike, why don't you help me? You can start going through that bag. This is Officer Mike McDermott. We used to work together as police officers. It's 
it's, it's, almost, it's almost hard to believe that you would come to Chicago with not even a dollar. Don't you like to have a drink or two? Oh, I don't really drink. Oh, wow. Here's a pay stub. Mm, perfect. What do you make in a week? Well, you know, you can afford a child on, you're almost making 2000 a week. <laughs> right? Here's his pay stub right here. Make it almost, you brought it. You didn't bring a dollar, but you brought a paycheck. You pay a, a paycheck stub. What was the point of that? To show you, ooh, look what you can have if you sleep with me again. Was it's that not, what it was? It's not all about that anymore. It's not all about that anymore. No, sir. You made some pretty good money so far this year. Working a lot of overtime. You're making a damn good buck. And, and on here, you provide child support. Yes. For one of your children. That's right. But you won't put that child on here. You won't make sure that money goes to that child. Why is that? Well, you brought a nice laptop for yourself. Good, you know, brush, make sure you look good. Maybe you run into another 17-year-old. <laughs> you, just, you just wanted to come with me. I'm not giving anything. You're going to have sex with me, and I'll, then I'll, I'll see my baby. Did you think that was the plan? No. Do you tell me what the plan was then? I was expecting us to come here, resolve everything. I see my to. baby. And we go back home. Hmm. We go back home. That's Just right. like Why that. Why do you deserve to see your baby? Because. Because you impregnated a 17-year-old? That's why? Because that's what you deserve? It's not all about that. Well, what is it about, Alvin? Because I'm the father. Because you're the father. I think I deserve that right. And you know, you're the father. You know what? You're not a father. Exactly. You don't provide. That's, you only get to claim the title of father if you provide for exactly. your child. If that child feels love. You don't do anything. Nothing for your child. And you play a scam. You come here on my show, 35-year-old man doesn't bring one single dollar. Not one George Washington in his pocket. And boy, that just happened by accident, huh? That just happened by accident. You planned for it. Because you don't want to give up anything. No, that's not true. Yeah, but you, you know, you'll take my plane ticket. You'll fly to Chicago. We'll give you a nice, comfortable hotel room to stay in, right? We fed you, right? Right? Yeah. We fed you good? Did you have a nice meal? Yes, sir. Yeah. Just like that baby wants to be taken care of. Yeah. So, you know, I'm kind of like your daddy here in Chicago. <laughs> I'm paying for your food. I'm putting you up, and I'm paying for your place. I'm doing more for you than you do for your child. So you should say, you are my daddy. You're my daddy. I'm acting more of a father to you than you do to your own daughter. It sickens me that I fed you. It sickens me that I gave you a plane ticket, that I flew you up here. It sickens me that a grown man wouldn't bring money and he hasn't seen and you had the chance. You had the chance to see you and hold your daughter for the first time. And you didn't bring one damn dollar. I want to see my baby. You want to see your baby. Yes. You Elvin, tell her what you're going to do. He's telling me he tell, wants to see the baby. Come tell, on. Tell her what you're going to do right now. What are you going to do for your baby? From now on. From now on what? I'm going to provide for my baby. Well, until then, then you, you, you won't see your baby. Don't do that. No, I am going to do that. You, not nine months, well, 18 months while I was pregnant, didn't do nothing for me. After I had the baby, didn't do nothing for me. So why should I... Let you see the baby. I want you to look in my eyes and tell me the truth. You didn't bring any money because you didn't want to give her any money. That's, That's the truth of it. That's why you didn't dip into your safe and take a few dollars out. I bet you if I went through every grown man in this audience, mm -hmm. every one of them has at least one dollar on their pocket. Okay.
And they're not a thousand miles away from home. So what I want you to do is to apologize to her for what you've done. And I want you to mean it. I want you to tell her, I'm sorry that I have not supported my baby. I'm sorry for that. Okay. I apologize for this whole situation. For getting pregnant. Oh, so what I you're realized, saying? Oh, I realized it was a mistake, you know? And now I'm going to do all I can to provide for no. my baby. Now, do you promise me that that pay stub, when you go back, the first day that you go back to work, that you're going to put that baby, you're going to put that baby on and you're going to pay for that baby too. You promise me you're going to do that. And then you promise her. And if it's okay with you, because what I'll do for you, what I'll do for you is, if he doesn't, and I you call- I don't believe him, Steve. I'm telling I you, don't believe listen him. to me. This is the offer I'm giving you. If he doesn't do that, I will personally fly to Atlanta and go to his company and make sure Alvin puts your baby on. You gonna put that baby on? I would do that, but no buts. I'm not. No okay. buts. Okay. No buts. I'm gonna do it. And I'll I'm tell you what. And I'm gonna tell you, Alvin. I'm a man of my word. And if you don't, I promise I'm gonna show up there with a lot of cameras, and I will embarrass you, and I will make you look like a fool. I promise you that. Okay. I'm gonna do it. I hope so. Cause if you don't, what I'm saying is, coming. though, you don't mind if I keep the pay stub. Do you mind if I keep the pay stub so I can make sure that you pay? You can keep it. Thank you. Thank you. Now, now I know where he works and I know how much money he makes, and like I said, it's nothing for me to get on a plane and come down with some cameras and we'll film the end of the show with Alvin not paying, if he doesn't pay. <laughs> That'll be the end of the show, Alvin not paying. And then every girl out there in America, take a good look at Alvin. Do not sleep with this man. <laughs> but if you're saying you're going to do the right thing, and that's what I'll do for you. I'll do all that for you. Okay. If you want to, that's your choice to let him see his baby. Uh, yeah, I will. Because if he doesn't say nothing, then I'm going. Let's go. Let's go. Right up there. Look at that beautiful little girl. <laughs> you go by her so you know that it's okay, so your daughter feels safe. You go by her too. You take her, you take her and you give it to him. Come on, baby, you okay? I know, In I know, Introduce baby. your daughter to her father. Baby, this is your, your, your daddy. Doesn't she look just like you? Huh? Yes. No, no yelling, no yelling in front of the baby. We don't want to scare the baby. You look just like you, huh, baby? I know, I know. I know. She looks just like you. Hey, sweetheart. Hey. She doesn't want to. I don't think she wants it. I don't think she wants it. I think you know, you know, you need to do all of it. I know, baby, I you need know. to start being in that baby's life no matter what you can do. You need to spend some time and you need to start supporting her. And you know what? When she's a little more comfortable and you're actually around her and she knows who her father is, then maybe she'll willingly come into your arms. 
All right? Yes, sir. You make sure, because I will come down to Atlanta. You better put her on and pay for that baby. Where's Daddy? Daddy. Juanita, why are you here today? To confront my dad about my mother's murder. I have nothing to do with her death at all. I know my father would never do nothing like that. He used to beat her. He, he used, used to, to beat, beat her, abuse her. And before the show, you took a lie detector test, right? Yes, sir. Do you know who killed her? And then I'm here to confirm about being a dad, be dad. You abandoned your children. When they needed you the most, you weren't there for them. I'm the one that been a father to her. I'm the one when she ran away, went looking for her. Their mother was brutally murdered. My mother's murder, and... You think that your father murdered your mother? Yes, I think he, he murdered my mother. And then I'm here to confirm about being a dad, be dad. Being a dad, be dad. Yeah. Um, I mean, that's kind of uh, a shocking thing to think that your own father, you think that he had something to do with your mother's death? Yes. Why do you believe that? Because he was doing drugs, he was running around, he got her on drugs. So I'm thinking that maybe he set her up. He didn't pay somebody their money. In exchange, he gave them her. He used to beat her. He, he used, used to, to beat, beat her, abuse her. Beat her while she was pregnant. And, and we was around, we, we tried helping and hitting him with shovels and everything to get him off of her. When's the last time you saw your father? It's been a long time. It's been a long time? Yeah. And how long ago did your your mother, uh, she was, murdered. the medical examiner says that your mother was, was murdered. Mm-hmm. How long ago did that happen? Ten. Ten years ago. Ten years ago. And you ever able to ask your dad about it? Every time I try asking him, talking about it, he always try to switch the subject. And you must, you're 17 years old now. You were a young girl when this happened, losing your mother, especially in a violent way like that. Has it affected you? Yes, it affected me a lot. I, I was running away and everything and depressed and wasn't going to school, nothing. Was your father there at all for you after your mother? No, after two, after two weeks after her funeral, she, he came, he came over two weeks after. And he, he didn't go stay. to the funeral? He didn't even go to the funeral. What did you hear about your mother's death? I heard that she was beaten to death and they don't, they, that she was beaten to death in the alley and she was pushed out of a car. And anybody ever arrested for this or? No. And you believe in that th your father had something to do yeah, with it? Yeah, I strongly, strongly believe. And since then, wh 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 what kind of relationship have you had with your father? I have had no relationship with him. I don't talk to him. Does he ever give you or your siblings any money? or? No. He's just... He uh, takes money from us. He takes money from you? Yeah. How does he take money from you? He asks, okay, let me borrow a couple of dollars knowing that we just got some money or something. And he'll spend it, he's like, I'll give it back. That's he take it. And what does your father, does he work? Does he do anything? Oh, now he's working. Now he's working, he got his own apartment and everything, and he still can't do nothing. He still, it's like the kids that had nobody to depend on. You have siblings, right? Yeah. And you have one sister, Nora? Yeah. And how's your relationship with her? It's been downhill ever since I, you know, ran, you know, did, got into all the bad stuff I was doing. It's, it was, it's going, it went down here. What kind of bad stuff were you getting into? Like runaway drugs and You were doing drugs drinking, too? Yeah. Have you able to straighten yourself out or? Oh yeah, I straightened myself out. I'm now in, I'm, this is my last year of high school and you know, I plan on going to college. I'm a CNA now. I'm planning on doing things in my life. So I'm told you're upset with your sister. Why are you upset with Nora? Because I don't understand why she's here with him when it should be 
She's here. <laughs> she's taking your father's side of the yes. story, and and that upsets you. Yes. And why does that upset you? Because she know and I know the things that we done went through with him. And you, you say this relationship between your parents was really violent. Did you, yeah. did you witness the violence? Yes. I mean, it sounds like it did. You're saying you, you as kids mm -hmm. were picking up shovels and hitting them with it, trying to get them off my mom. Oh, yeah. Do you want a relationship with your father? Yeah, I want a relationship with him. I Why? Do. I want to try to work something out. But if you really truly believed he murdered believe, your mother. Yeah, I believe that he did it. And I, and if it comes back that he didn't, then I want to try to leave, try to fix it if I could. Try to make How would you fix it? Counseling. Could he, could he step in at this point? Could he be a father? I mean, everything that you said, it's like, it just sounds like a violent guy that's just coming in and out of your life. Like, like a revolving door. No, I don't, it's, it's not, um, I don't think so. It's not going to work. But You'd I like to have somebody in your life. Yeah, but the thing, no, I have my grandmother in my life. That's the person that's been there for me. So. You've had somebody then. Yeah. And. If you could have anything happen today, what would it be? For me to find out everything, the truth. You'd like your father like to come clean to you. Come clean. Lay it. I want everything. All right, well, let's bring out your sister and let's hear what she has to say. about your own father though. What did you Why say? would you think that he Nora. has something to do he with do. this? No, he, he might don't. have something to do what? with No, he it. don't. Yes, it ain't yes, no might. You, yes, you just do. want attention. No, That's I don't all want you attention. Want. I don't want yes, attention. Yes, it is what it I is. I want the truth all to come want. out. There ain't no That's truth. That's what I want. Ain't no, ain't don't be here tonight. Don't bring that up. Don't, don't be here tonight. I'm not. that on your dad. I ain't trying to say he was a good dad or nothing like that. He wasn't no good dad. No, but he was not no. But don't sit right there. Was you right there? You was girl. No, you was not. You no, you was not. You was not right there. Really How would you know? You was a little girl at the time. Yeah. Now, you hear your sister come out, both of your young girls when you lose your mother, to a violent death, right? Yes. She's under impression that your father either did it or had something to do with it because of his actions. And you feel completely opposite? No, I know my father would never do nothing like that. She just want attention, why do attention. You, why do you think, here's your chance now. Why do you think that he had nothing to do with it? Because my father, every time he looked at a picture of my mom, he cries. Every time her birthday comes up around December, he cries. He brings her up, he cries. My dad and my mom, they loved each other. I don't know why okay, would she would say something on, hold like on, that. Hold on, hold on. Well, she tells stories of that your father was very violent to her. Is that true? Is it um, true? Yes, they were. They fought a little or whatever, but the way she put it, no, it didn't go like that. Both of them, they argue and they push each other and everything, but no, it was, was no punch beat up or nothing. No shovels beating your father no, off? No, no. Yes, it was. Why you say that she's doing this for attention? Because that's all Juanita ever does. She's been doing it for years for attention. Every, everything she done did has been because of attention. And your relationship with your father is... It's, it's okay, but it's not all that. I'm not close with my dad like that. She says he's, you know, has been a good father, been a deadbeat. And your feelings about him as far as being a father? It's like, I, I, yeah, I talk to him and I tell him, yeah, you need to pay attention more. And you need, to, you need to stop trying to be a friend to your kids and start being a real father. You have not been around. You need to start trying to be there. And I tell him that. And what does I, he say to that? He, he, my father, he just, he don't, he just is like, just go through one ear and out the other. Did you know your parent, if your parents were on drugs? Yes, they were. Both of them? Yes. Is it possible when you're involved in drugs that, you know, maybe a deal gone bad, who knows? You hear about it all the time in the news. Somebody stiff somebody, some no, they come um, back, they get somebody. First off, my dad was no nowhere around. My dad was nowhere around at all to know anything. My, he, my mother wasn't in contact with him at the time So at they all. were like split up? Yeah, split up. He was somewhere and she was somewhere. 
Now, your dad, he took a lie detector test before the show. Yes. And what if it comes back and he fails this test? It'd just be a shock, but I know he wouldn't fail it because I, I know, I know my dad wouldn't do nothing like that. Would it change your feelings at all? Or? Yes, it would. I look at him in, in shock, like, why would you do something like that? But I know my father. He would never do or that. Or be involved in any way. Yes, I know my father. He wouldn't do so that. So you're saying he might you not know your father, father, but he ain't been he around He might not have life. been a good father, but he what loved my about? mom. I know that. Now, here's, love, here's, love here's, that much to be here's that, right? here where I'm a little confused about is you both kind of agree that he hasn't been the best father to you. If the two of you and your sisters, you're so close in age, how come there's, how come you guys can't make it work? You both lost your mother at a young age. Your father hasn't been around. I would think more than anything that you would find time for the, the family that you have remaining. She's kind of, I think she's hurt. Maybe she, she wants the attention. But maybe it's the attention of an older sister that she wants. Well, oh, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go. I have, I'm sorry, but I gotta I gotta go to school. I have a life to deal with right now. I done dealt with her all of, um, back in the past and everything. I can't do it no more. I'm not putting myself in that position anymore. I'm not doing it. So what what, what are your feelings towards your sister? My, what's my feelings yeah, towards her? Yeah, what's your feeling? That, uh, so I love my sister. Okay. I, I, all I'm saying is I think it's a shame that you can't reach out to each other. You can't be sisters. I, there's no reason for you not to be loving sisters. I would have at least a sisters. relationship with Nora. I would love to. She, she just don't know how. She just don't know how. You just, everything now, now, Juanita, do you base this... You, your allegation on any kind of evidence, somebody saying something to you, anything at all besides just a feeling? I just had that feeling that he had something to do with it. He couldn't have been involved. He was not around to be able to do something like that. Well, if, if she had a problem, if she if she never mentioned this about any, oh, to anybody it. in this family it. I ever, mentioned it. I mentioned ever. it. I mentioned it. You're just really ridiculous. No, I'm not ridiculous. Yes, I'm you is. You, yeah, yo, you're, you're trying ridiculous. to find some attention. That's what no, you're trying to find. Ain't nobody trying to find no yes, attention. I'm trying is. to find oh, yeah, closure okay, well, yeah, for all sure. of us. Yeah. For all you of us. You have a lot of hostility towards your sister, though. Yes, because she done did so much stuff in life to mess me up. Okay, she that's, all so that's all you got. That's all you got. That's all you got. I'm you, tired of you dealing ain't with it. Hold on, hold on. I don't want to deal with it. Try to solve it. What I want to do is, I, I want to, I want you to ask you to leave the stage for a second. I'm gonna talk to you. So I'll bring you back out, okay? <laughs> Just tell me calmly, what did she do to you? Juanita done ran away. She had me hurt. She ran away. I never knew where she was at. I thought she was gonna die or get killed or something out there. We never knew what happened to her. She could have been dead somewhere in the alley or something, somewhere. Run away, not going to school, skipping school, making me miss school because she lying, saying stuff about just, just, Juanita is just ridiculous. I, I'm, I'm not, I just don't want to deal with it no more. I, know, I already got enough stress. I don't need her more to add more see, to it. Have you seen any changes there that now she's not running away? She, to, I'm, maybe I'm wrong, but it seems to me that she's trying to reach out to you. Well, if she was trying to reach out to me, she could have talked to me on the phone and talked to me, <coughs> called me or she's, something. She's she don't never now. call. She don't. She's here she now. She always tell me, I'm small, I'm busy, oh, I got to go to work, and da, da, da. But I, I, Nora, she's here now. <sighs> does, does that mean anything to you? or? It's, it's just uh, the way she... The way she's here is not good to me, cause I didn't. I you didn't. know what? Her mother died when she was a young girl. Maybe, may uh, you lay, Let's hope your dad passes the lie detector test. It gives your your little sister some closure, and she can move on with her life. Well, I know my father passed the test. I know he will pass the test. Well, uh, I'll bring her back out. I, I want to. I want to bring your Juanita back out. Let's bring Juanita back out. Explain to your sister why you felt the need to do this today. Why don't you tell her why you need this? Because I want to find out what happened to my mommy. That's been on my head for years. For well, years. then you, you should have came years. at that at a different way. <coughs> you could have came at that 
in a totally different way. Not your father. Don't come at your father because you feel bad that he hadn't been there for you. Don't That's say something. Don't reason. say he did something like that that bad. Yeah, you can say he ain't been there, but don't never say no, he killed your <laughs> own mom. You could have went at him in a whole totally different way. Nope. How you know about child my, support? How you know, do how you know, how you know about my mommy rolling out of a car? How you know my mom get pushed the out of a car? The man lived on the, on the street for a year to try to find out who killed your mom. No, I don't you believe that. Oh, no, I don't believe that. Oh my gosh, how would you know? Oh, oh, he can take a lie detector to that thing and then he will pass it. I don't believe that. I'm going to ask both of you to leave the stage. I'm going to bring your father out and at some point we'll bring both of you out. All right, let's bring uh, Juanita and Nora's father out. Let's bring Eric out. How you doing, Eric? How you doing, sir? Um, how, you, how you doing? Now, at one point, you know your daughter's here today, both saying that, one, right off the bat, that you haven't kind of been there for them. They both, let me finish, um, seven and nine years old, they lose their mother to a violent death. Um, your one daughter says, no way in hell is dad involved in this. Your other daughter says, I got a feeling somehow because my dad was involved with drugs or whatever, he was involved in my mother's death. She feels that way. She's got no evidence, not based on anything. And before the show, you took a lie detector test, right? Yes, sir. And we'll get to those results. Did you have anything remotely possible with your wife's stuff? No, I did not have nothing to do not with my wife's death. My wife was the love of my heart. She was the love of your heart? Yes, she was. Now, both of your daughters have say you had been violent with your wife. Push up, but not violent enough to be hitting. hitting so you weren't punching no. her, slapping her? No. And were you both under the use of drugs at the time? We. Mm -hmm. That's it? Yes. So you're you're with your wife, right? How many children did you have with her? Uh, total five. Five children with yeah. her. And how would you describe the relationship? Good, bad, up and downs. And at the time, but still that still was my love in my heart. I, I always loved her with all my heart. And at some point, when she was murdered, where were you? Like, were you? We in, we separated. And you were just gone, or? Yeah, I was just gone. Were you were you in the city still, or? Uh, I was still in the city. You find out your your wife, the love of your life, has been murdered, right? Yes. Has to be shocking to you. Hurt me pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Yes, sir. Why didn't you attend her funeral? I didn't find out till after the funeral. You didn't find out till after the funeral. After the funeral. Nobody picked up the phone. None of your was children. No, was nobody with. No waiting. relatives. You didn't see a newspaper, the news, nothing? Nothing. And how long ago, how long after her murder did you find out? Uh, a week, two weeks after her murder. And so the funeral was over with? The funeral was over with. Did any of your children know how to find you? No, not really. They were too young. How old was your oldest at the time? <laughs> My oldest was probably about 11, 10. You're telling me your 11-year-old daughter didn't have a phone number, a way to contact you? I did not get touched. Why, why wouldn't you have a way for your children to contact you? You're their father. <laughs> you just you know, there's no way to get a hold of daddy if you need me, if you really need me, if God forbid something bad happens, this is how you get a hold of me? I never left them no way for them to get in touch with me. That's pretty cold, isn't it? Yes, sir. Since your wife's death, have you done anything, the love of your life, have you done anything to find out who Yeah, I, I was out there a year trying to find out who killed her. And how were you trying to do that? Uh, going through her, her, her friends that she used to go hang out with and stuff like that, but they never gave me no information. Everybody just said nothing? No, we, they just they ignored me. Is it possible any kind of drug use was involved in her death? Uh, probably, I guess so. Were you ever questioned as a suspect? Yeah, I was. And you were clear? Right, right, right at right show that I found out, I found out that the, the detectives were looking for me. And so you went in, you got yeah, in. So I went in and cleared myself. And from the time you broke up to the time of her death, how, how, how long of a time frame was that? 
Uh, a month. A month. Since now, you lose you lose the love of your life, the mother of your children. It's been <coughs> ten years. Why haven't you been in your your children's lives? Because after I lost her, uh, I really wasn't thinking right. wasn't wasn't in the right track. Yeah, but if you're not the one taking care of them, who's going to take care of your children? Well, uh, the grandmother had them. She took a custody of them. I understand. And, okay. and thank God for that woman that she took your children in and she's taking care of them. But you, you as a father, you have no feelings towards that? I mean, all I'm yeah, hearing I is yeah, you're, not, you're not, too. yeah, but I keep hearing not a good dad, borrowing money from your children. Why do you need borrow money from your children for? Mm, no, I was borrowing money just probably just for get, uh, a couple of dollars for gas. I don't care what you were borrowing. You borrow money from your children. Have you ever been a good father? Not really. I can admit that. Is there anything preventing you now, today, from being a good dad? No. So why don't you be a good dad? I try, I, I'm there. That's the reason I moved from where, moved from where I was to be with my, my kids. When's the last time you talked with Juanita? Uh, December. So it's been... April, really. April the 1st. But before that, before quite a that, while. Before that, December. Well, let's bring Juanita out. She wanted to talk to you. Let's bring her out and hear what she has to say. Okay. Thanks, baby. I hate you for what you did and what you're doing. What am I doing? You hurting all of us, and you know that. Have you been? Do you know, do you even know how old I am now? Yes, I do. Do you know do you know anything about me? No, you don't, because you don't try. You don't even try you to find one. out. You don't try. Somebody try. No, no, you the father. You the father. You you try to get in touch with your child. You the father. You, you, you the father. Yeah, you try to get in touch with me. You try to make some type of effort. If if I'm not if you think that I'm not trying to be there, you try to make that. Make that happen. If you really want to be in my life. I do want to be in my life. If you really do. You know, Eric, here's, a, here's your daughter, and she comes out. You haven't seen her forever, and you don't get up to give your daughter a hug. You don't get up and say, I'm sorry for what I did. I'm going to try. No, I don't even want no hug from you. All right, then. Boy, that's, that's effort, man. Damn. That's effort. It's to take somebody to tell you to get up and hug your daughter. It shouldn't even take that. Do you feel comfortable sitting down while your daughter's standing there crying? Are you... Hey, I'm, I think that hurts me. Well, you know what? Get your ass up out of my chair. <laughs> Run away from your daughter? Look, I'm not you must be good I'm, at it because I'm, you've I'm, been doing it for I'm ten not years. I'm not argue fight with nobody. Okay, I want to get an understanding. Fight for your daughter. You're not gonna argue and fight. You're going. Your daughter's crying over there. Baby, I love you. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, you don't. Yes, if I you do. did, you would have been done try something a long time ago. A long time ago. Where was you at to even pick me up? You know, when I ran away. That was your time to run in and be daddy. Save that and save your daughter. Why you do that? At least I tried to come at you. What you no, said, you thought no, ignored no, me. No, you no, ignored no, me no. and did not want to listen to no, me. No. Yes, it was like no, that. And no, you know that like perfectly that. well. Yes, no, it was. No, it was not like that. It was not like that. I wanted you to come and find me, but you didn't. You didn't. You talking about. How can I when I was way in the Chicago? Don't to come get your daughter. Uh, you you wait. It doesn't matter. 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 If you really want to find out your daughter, I'm it's okay. You're going to try.
your you back. You think I was not worried about you or what? You were that what? Huh? You would have found the way. You would have found the way. You thinking, you ain't, is you not thinking like, oh, she might be hurt or something. You were that worried. They're going to find me then. If that's how you feel. But you didn't feel that way. Yes, I did. No, you did not. Yes, I did. No, you did not because you did not put no yes, effort in trying to. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And you, don't, you, you don't want to make me do all you. Made me do all this. Cause ain't nobody in my life. Me? I, I made you do this. There ain't nobody. Yeah, you know what? I gotta to say, it. yeah, you're responsible mm -hmm. because you're the father. And like, she's a young girl. Maybe, maybe you didn't make her enforce her, but you know what? You didn't do anything else. You didn't make sure she didn't run away. You didn't make sure that she was going to school, that she was doing the right things. You weren't being dead. Their mother was brutally murdered. And nobody could get a hold of you. The police couldn't even track you down. You're responsible. That's your daughter, and because you weren't around, she made mistakes. Who the hell was there to help her? Her mother was killed. You weren't around. Your own daughter thinks you're involved in her mother's murder. Yeah. You're the only living parent here. Mother's been gone for 10 years. You're daddy. Daddy hasn't been around. Maybe that's why she ran away, because she wanted Daddy to come save her. Daddy wasn't around. Maybe if I run away, Daddy will get concerned and show me some attention. Did you did you go find your daughter? Did you even know that she was gone? Yes, I did know she did was gone. Did you go look for her? No. Did you go look for her? No, sir. Why wouldn't you go look well, for your I daughter? I was keeping in touch with the family to find you, out what was going on. You were keeping in touch with the family? You'll go look for this alleged murderer of your wife, but you won't go look for your daughter that's still alive, that's out there? Yeah. Anything all you want to say to comfort your daughter? That I love her. Okay. Oh, sorry. It's easy to say. You don't care about me. Yes, I do. You don't even care about none of your kids. Yes, I do. Just if you did, you would do something about it. You got a job, you can't afford nothing for them. Your daughter asked you to buy her a five dollar, how a five dollar school ID, and you can't even get that. And you just got paid that day, and you telling me you love your kids? Five dollars ain't nothing. What you wanna do? What you mean what I wanna do? It's what you gotta do. Well, it's what I you have, need to I do. I have no problem with that. Now, you, you got a brother in the audience? No, I have an uncle in the you audience. You have an uncle? Yes. This is my mother's brother. This is your mother's brother. So you want to stand up? And why is all his kids living with uh, the grandmother? Um, at the time, him and my sister both was on drugs. It wasn't, it wasn't no marijuana. It was. No, it wasn't no marijuana. It was not marijuana. Not marijuana when you leave your kids alone. And my mama got to be the one to take care of him. When I got to be a father. I'm the one that been a father to him. I'm the one when she ran away, went looking for her. I'm not sitting right here. I don't want to be bothered with you. I don't. Why is that, that anger not directed at your father? You got your daughters hating each other because of you. How does it feel for another man to stand up here and say, I had to, take, I had to be a father to your children? Not right. Not but good. it doesn't seem like it bothers you. It does bother me. Really? It sure does. How what? bad does it bother you? It bothers me very much. I mean, can you fill us in on what drug do you think it was? I think it was crack. No. The, the other thing I, is, Juanita, I'm very proud of you. I'm very yeah! proud of you. I'm proud of you because regardless of all that you done been doing, all the things that you done did in the past, yes, it was hard when my, when my, when my niece ran away. It was tough on her family. But she straightened up. She, she started going to school. She, she done got her CNA. She's working now, and she got plans on going to college. So I'm proud. And that's a father. That's a father. That's a father. 
as a father, the first thing you should have said to your daughter is I'm proud of you, because you know that she done did those things. I know that. See, see that right there, that right there makes you not look like a father. And I say, maybe you and my sister got together young, y'all got started on those drugs and that crack cocaine young. But now it's now. The past is the past. What you doing now? You're not doing nothing now, man. My it's kids like gonna cool. always know who their father is. What, 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 what I'm looking at is when you gonna step up to the plate and be a father. Yeah. I am there. <laughs> it's a choice. Huh? It's a choice. So, so you can change if you want to. I am there. They say you can't teach your old dog new tricks. It's up to that dog to teach yourself. Yeah. Can you step over here for a second? Can you step right over here? You came here, you wanted him to take a lie detector to us about the allegations. You say that he might, you have a belief inside you that he might have some involvement. Here's a young woman that needs somebody to stand by her, and I think you're a good person to stand by her for these results. Take, take notes, take notes, because that's how a father acts right there. Let's bring out your other daughter, Nora. She might be interested in these results also. The results of Eric's lie detector test. You were asked, did you physically abuse your ex-girlfriend, Gloria, during your six-term relationship? The mother of these two young women, right? Yes. You answered no. Did you have any involvement in Gloria's death? You answered no. Are you protecting anyone involved in Gloria's death? You answered no. And the results of those lie detector tests is that Eric told the truth. Now, you were further asked, did you get Gloria hooked on any drug other than marijuana? You answered no. Do you know who murdered Gloria? You answered no. Do you know more about Gloria's death than you are telling? And you answered no. And the results of those lie detector test results are that you're not telling the truth. What? What? I don't think so. It's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible. I wouldn't do nothing with, nothing with her death. I would do that with my heart. Do you know who did it? Mm hmm? Do you know who killed her? Do I have? Do I know who killed her? Do you know her? who killed her? No, I do not. Nora, how do you feel about your dad failing that part of the test? He passed, he passed some questions, but he failed the others. Is, is unbelievable, and why would it be false? Why would it be a lie? Why would you lie if it's... I have no reason to lie. I have nothing to do with to my wife. I wouldn't have hurt her for nothing in the world. Do you know who murdered your... No, I do not. Do you know more than you're telling us? No, I do not. But know. you failed that on the test. I don't know why. You don't know why? No, did, how did you were able to pass the other questions? I have no idea. I have nothing to do with her death at all. I know you don't, you're saying you don't have anything to do with it, but do you have any knowledge? No, I do not. Wouldn't you owe that to your daughters, not being a good father, maybe clearing it up? <laughs> Pass what information you have on so your daughters can go well, out and I don't have mother? no information at all. Want any, anything you want to say to your father? Ooh, you dumb. I hate you. You know, you a liar. I don't know nothing. I don't want nothing to do with you until you tell the truth. Well, I can't know what I can say because I don't know, I have nothing to do tell with that. Tell the truth. That's all you need to do. I am telling tell the, the truth. truth. You lie. That, that chat said you lie. You lie. Hey, I'm grown. I ain't got to talk to you. I mean, no, I don't. You no, know you are grown. So get your ass off my stage. <laughs> You abandoned your children 
When, when they needed you the most, you weren't there for them. When your daughter ran away and she wanted you to come rescue her, you made no effort. You didn't even attend the, the mother of your children's funeral. So is it, is it anything in your life that you could say, believe me, I'm a stand-up guy. Look what I've done in my life. Give me the benefit of doubt. There's nothing that anybody on the stage has get, said anything about you, including yourself, have said anything where we could believe one word that comes out of your mouth. You believe it? I'm sorry, but I don't want to be bothered with you. Don't say nothing to me. I'm not sitting right here. I don't want to be bothered with you. I don't. I want to. I don't. I don't. That's you and him. That's between you and him. I don't. I just don't want to be bothered with you ever again. I don't care. That's wrong. I don't even care. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't even bother. No, I don't care. What I, I, don't don't get, I, what, I, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop, stop, what stop. I don't get, what I don't get is you're so hostile towards her. Why do you hate me? Here this guy what fails. Do do? Hold on. Let's hold on, Juanita. Why is that, that anger not directed at your father? Talk next no, we ain't. I'm grown. I ain't got to talk to you. When, oh, no, I don't. That's you know what? You are grown, time. so get your ass off oh, my yeah. stage. No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. The reason why I want you to stay on stage, because I want to ask you, this, is, this was your sister, right? You hear that the man that she was involved with, he comes out here, he, he basically abandons your sister, he abandons his children as her brother. How does that make you feel? I'm speechless, you know, because I basically don't want to say anything to incriminate myself. <laughs> but with that said, you know how I feel. I don't have nothing to do with your brother. <laughs> Sit to death. Yeah, take that I don't have nothing to do with her death no. at all. I don't know where the web I to be even around for that to Why happen. Why you can't look us in the eyes? Then? I am looking in your eyes. The good thing is, you got somebody that loves you and does take care of you. Take her and keep being the role model in her life. Thank you. You can take her off stage. Thanks for coming on. Man. I hope this helped you a little bit, okay? Good luck to you, okay? Good luck to you. I, I, I will never get, I could do a thousand of these shows and I never know how men can stand on a stage and just so blase say, I wasn't there for my kids. You gotta live with it. Those are your kids on my stage crying. Those are your, your children that have no relationship with each other because you haven't been involved in their life. You got your, your, you got your daughters hating each other. Sisters that don't like each other because of you. That's what you did. That he called my baby whores and bitches and said you should have aborted this thing. I never said that. That's what you said about my child. That's what you said. He thinks he's not the father because he's trying to avoid responsibility that he made. I told you. That's the mom's. I guarantee you I'm going to be there. I know he's the father. Let's find out if the little girl is yours. John, you know you are the father. How can you deny my baby? Because I don't think he's my kid. Get out of my face. What? 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 My son is his, and I've never cheated on him. You believe she's cheating with your own brother? Yeah, I know she has. Have you seen your brother for real? He's ugly! You got the better looking of the brothers? I did. I'm sexy. Look at my baby, Billy. You're going to deny him for real? He's got the shape of his eyes. He's got his big old ears. It's a 50-50 chance. That's mine or my brother's. All right, Billy, you came here and you took a DNA test, and the results of your test are... You are... You would think that, right? In 2010, Kaya and John had a short relationship that resulted in a pregnancy. But since the baby was born, John has questioned whether or not he is the biological father. Kaya is certain that the child is his and believes he is only trying to avoid paying child support. Take a look. Watching that piece of tape, do you hope he's the father? 
I know he's the father. You know he's the father. Yes, I know he is. Um, not very kind words he's saying about you. No. Does that bother you at all? Yes, it do. Um, how long were you and John together? About a month and a half. A month and a half. Why doesn't he think he's the father? Well, Steve, he thinks he's not the father because he's trying to avoid taking care of a responsibility that he made. He, he made this. We made it together. And he need to man up and be a man and take care of his responsibility. <laughs> Has he helped you out financially? No, he haven't. When I was pregnant, he gave me some money, but... Since the baby's been born? No, he haven't uh, helped me at all. And how old is the child now? She's 10 months. 10 months old. And in those 10 months, any money for diapers, food, toys? For nothing, Steve. Nothing. I've been going through too much for this too much, Steve. You don't understand what I go through, Steve. I go through a lot. I got to go to pantries to get diapers. I got to go to churches. I gotta be up there like six o'clock in the morning. And if I'm not there at six o'clock in the morning, you gotta be the first 20 people. And if you're not there, my baby is stuck without a diaper. You're going it alone. You're, you're a single mom with really no help. No help at all. And no that, help. That's gotta be tough. It's very tough. It's stressful. Did you ever say, hey, John, why don't you come over and watch our daughter for a while so I can get some help or go do some things? I tried to call him plenty of times, like when the first, when the baby was born, he changed his number on me. I had to hit up his family members on Facebook just to get in contact with him. When I moved back to South Carolina, he promised to help me out with bills and stuff, and then he changed his number again. He even called my baby whores and bitches and said, you should have bought this thing. Okay. He called your baby a whore and a bitch? Yes. Even his family member called my baby a mutt, saying, that's not my brother's mixed breed. Here's the thing, from what you're telling me about John, and this DNA test comes back, and, and if it says it is John's, do you think that anything will change? I don't think things will change. He always complaining about, oh, I don't have no bus money to get to South Carolina, but you got money to go buy $50 shoes and snapbacks. You got money to go get jerseys and get high and stuff, but you ain't got money to use, use that $50 with the bus to get to South Carolina. Instead of buying them shoes, Instead of buying them shoes, you need to be getting that bus and come to South Carolina and be a man. She didn't ask to be here. My daughter did not ask to be here. Let's bring out John. Okay. Three days? Okay. Okay. 72 hold on, hours. Hold on. And counting. Okay. And counting. Right. Right. Get it That's correct. Right. That's right. That's right. Get it correct. Okay, first of all, John, you, you know there's a little girl now, right? And if. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm say. Say, can I say something? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Of course. If I hear on the stage national television that that baby's mine, my parents didn't do, do that to me, throw me away and not take him. You damn right I'm gonna be there for her. That's the beauty. My soldiers march. They said, huh? One, two, three, four. And that's what they did to you. Let's hope that this test will make both of you grow up, okay? Let's find out if the little girl is yours. John? Let's hope that this test will make both of you grow up, okay? Let's find out if the little girl is yours. John? I told you, Kai, I don't have condoms. My soldiers march, which they doing push-ups now. When they release, they said, huh? One, two, three, four. And that's what they did to you. Now, if that's the month, I guarantee you, I guarantee you I'm going to be there. John, I got to have you concentrate on me now, OK? You're a smart guy. You got to talk to me now. Do you really, do you really have doubts that the little girl's yours. I have doubts. I have doubts. It's mine's, and, and my heart tells me that What's it's mine. Like I tell you, my heart tells you it's she's it yours. It tells me that it's mine, and then what she's doing tells me that it's not mine. When okay. I look at that, and my, I got so many pictures. I got I got pictures in my phone of it. Everybody, when I'm going around every, yo, I don't have no other kids. So this I is your only child. 
Yeah, I said to him, yo, I, I, I got me, I got me uh, a daughter, y'all. I got smiles lit the air like Ronald McDonald at McDonald's. You know what I'm saying? So the, real. So the little girl. So find out that's mine, how most you attach, I'll be broken hearted. The little girl makes you happy. Yeah, that'll make me stop doing, like, if that's mine, it'll make me stop doing foul right. stuff. Right. And, you know, cause You're gonna, I, dude, cut, maybe go on the straight and narrow. <laughs> you doggone right. Okay. I, I mean, I would hope Tony, that. Like, like, if that smiles like it's problems that I got in towns, I'm willing to get smacked up and beat up so I can live a life to be around that little girl. Right. I will do everything I can in my heart, even right. if it brings me so, into the county, to do everything I so can. Right. Correct, correct, Only I can correct, try. correct me, correct me if I'm wrong. I'm not 100% man. Correct, correct me if I'm wrong. Maybe during some times in your life, maybe now, maybe involved in some shady stuff. But if it is your daughter, you're saying, hey, maybe it's time to grow up. I got to make some changes in my life, and I'm going to be good for my daughter. Yeah. Okay. Now, well, I'm, I'm, hold I'm, on, I'm you, you bring something. On you, you brought some good points. I, I, you, I, did you, I can't, did came you call out the baby names? I called, I said to her, I said to her, I said, it might be a bitch like you. No, you that's said she's said a whore and a bitch. You should have aborted that, that thing. That's what you said about no, my child. That's what you no, said. You said I should have aborted that thing. I did not say she was a whore. And just for your sake and for your daughter's sake. Put it like this. I love that little girl. And I have to still have to show her respect. But how am I like and Steve, she has how am to I show with Steve? And she has to show you respect. But Steve, how am I how am, all right, I understand that. But how all right, how am I showing her respect when she does foul stuff like that? If that's mine, why would you take you know it down what? the south let's, and bring it down? The let's hope, let's hope that this test will make both of you grow up, okay? Both of you. So, you know, precious little girl like that. I know one thing, she's going to want mommy and daddy. Right? Can I say one more thing? Can I say something? Sure. Um, if that is mine, I don't care whatever my family says, and I'm saying it, and I don't care when they see it, if I decide to send you money to Pampers, at least I know I'm there for it. And let you know that I'm there for it. And please, if I don't send you things that, that you don't want for the baby, don't text me with my phone, Debbie. And I don't want to do a half-ass daddy job. I really don't. I don't want to send her money, pampers, toys. And when I ask you to bring that, bring the baby down, even if it's the bus, $30 ride, see my baby? If I request that, please do that for me, Kaya. Please. You wanted to say something? Yes, I want to say one thing to reply to you. Hell no, I don't want nothing to do with you. You just got something to do with my child, and that's it. I don't want no parts right, of you. Fine. As long as you take care of my child, right, that's fine. it. I don't but want nothing to do with see, you. When I ask to see that little girl... And you can take your ass in the greyhound and come and see her. When I, no, no, if I, if I decide to. Because okay. you don't you want to be considerate, Kaya. Let's you find out, what I do. Let's find Family. out if the little girl is yours. I know, and at the end, I gotta be lying. I know that he's the father. My son is his, and I've never cheated on him. How can you deny my baby? Because I don't think what? he's my kid. Get out of my face. What? What? I know, and at the end, I gotta be lying. I know that he's the father. Let's find Family. out if the little girl is yours. John, you're not the father. Yo, Kaya. 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 I forgive you, Kaya. Kaya, I 
I really forgive you. I gotta say, for somebody that you were so mad at and so yelling at, you showed a lot of compassion when she was hurt and down. <laughs> hey, you know what? I think some. I know I got a moose to your chest to that, baby. If it's over, can I, can I hold it for the last time? Can I hold it for the last time, please? Let's let's go back and see Kaya. Please. John, John is asking. Listen, I know you're disappointed in the results. They're very accurate. We we were more than willing to give you another one. I don't think that's going to change anything, but. If that's going to help you, we'll do it. The good thing is, I don't think John, even though with these results, I think he still cares a lot about this little girl. He's saying he wants to hold it one more time. Maybe this doesn't exclude him from being in her life or helping, out, helping you. John, you want to come in? Okay, I'm sorry what I put you through. I'm sorry. But... I'm I'm not gonna take you through no more. I already took you through enough right here. So you don't gotta worry about me or her. I just do it on my own like I've been doing. I pitch you new for enough through hell. And I'm not gonna pitch you through no more hell. It's not your child. And I'm just gonna I, just take care of Shakai like I've been doing. I put you through more hell than you ever, than you ever put me. I'm all right, John. I'm good. I'm just gonna. Well, since, since you're gonna do that, can I please just hold it for the last time? Because y'all got emotionally attached to that. You know what I did. He's asking to see the baby. It's up, totally Please. up to you. Yeah. Okay, he, you're saying it's okay? Yes. You guys are going to go see the baby? I'll say this. No matter what you and John work out, and I got to say, John, I'm, I'm glad to see that, you know, he was pretty compassionate when you went down to the ground. He's standing right here. He's making a plea to, you know, be here right now. And I'll say this. No matter what happens between the two of you, we're going to give you some money so you can get on your feet help your daughter out, um, and I wish the best for you. And if John's offering to give some help, I take it. But that's up to you. Um, he wants to see the baby last time. You said it's okay. What, good luck to you, John. Thanks for coming on. Kaya, thanks for coming Thank on. You. Why don't you go see your little girl? I'm sorry, babe. I'm sorry, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, Kaya. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, girl. I'm gonna find her father. You believe she's cheating with your own brother? Yeah, I know she has. Have you seen your brother for real? He's ugly! You got the better looking of the brothers? I did. I'm sexy. You believe she's cheating with your own brother? Yeah, I know she has. Have you seen your brother for real? He's ugly!
Billy believes his girlfriend, Nylisa, is cheating on him with several guys, including his own brother. And now he isn't sure if he is the father or uncle of her one-year-old son. Nylisa is upset that she's being accused of being unfaithful, especially because Billy has admitted to cheating on her multiple times. Take a look. I'm here because Billy is accusing me of cheating with anybody and everybody. And I'm here to prove that my son is his. He thinks Albert is the father because he has blue eyes. And my son has blue eyes. And we both have brown. I ran away with Billy when I was 16 years old and I got pregnant. I was alone with his brother for maybe an hour and he accuses me of sleeping with his brother and now since I've had my son, he accuses me of my son being his. And when I went home, when I found out I was pregnant, Billy went to jail for taking me across state line because I was only 16 years old. He's cheated on me so many times and he was cheating on me because I was a minor and he could not see me. His excuse is a man has needs, but I'm 16 and pregnant with his child when he's 19 years old. And now since he's gotten out, it's been even worse. It's constantly arguing and fighting, and I'm tired of it. I need him to know the truth. He can be a good father when he wants to be, but it's like he don't want nothing to do with me. It don't. I'm alone. I, I need help. I'm only 18. I can't do it by myself. It hurts me when he's treating my son like he's not even his. My son deserves better. He deserves a full-time dad, not a part-time. I don't even know if you did anything really wrong, but I just don't feel right sit with you, Billy. Okay. Um, um, that's your girlfriend on a tape, and obviously you had some legal issues with her, you, yeah. you know, but you moved past that, you're still with her. Mm -hmm. um, you believe she's cheating with your own brother. Yeah, I know she has. She, you know she has. I mean, uh, it's, it's obvious. I mean, it's obvious that she, you know, she's had intercourse with my brother you know because, and how was that obvious because i used to leave her alone with her all, leave, leave her alone with him all the time and you think your brother would do this yeah i know he would well, come on <laughs> what kind of brothers are you uh, i mean i've done it to him you know <laughs> <laughs> so you're not surprised since you have slept with one of his, his girlfriends you wouldn't be surprised if he slept with one of yours i mean i'd be or surprised but it, it, in a way it, it it would be shocking, but in a way it wouldn't. You know, I've done it to him. But so. what would be shocking is here you think you have a child and you think you're dead, and then it would turn out that you're not dead. I'm the uncle. But you're the uncle. Yeah. <laughs> you know, me be ta me, I'm taking care of his son, you know. Right. How did you meet Melissa? Uh, I was actually, I was playing basketball and she came to a park. And, you know, we started talking from there on and I went further and we started dating. We, you know, we ran off together. And you ran off and did what? Ran off and we, we, we went from Ohio to Kentucky. Why did you go from Ohio? Well, I mean, it's right over the border. I mean, I mean because be... her family, they, they, they treated me like crap. They, so you wanted to get away from her family? Yeah. Okay. And uh, while you were there, you were engaged in, in some sex, I guess? Yes. And you got her pregnant? Or mm -hmm. you thought you got yeah, her pregnant? I thought I got her pregnant. So when she said, hey, I'm pregnant, what was your reaction? Is it mine or not? <laughs> <laughs> Was really that your, that was your reaction? Yeah. I mean, this young girl that you're, you know, taking over state lines and having sex, you thought maybe she had time to sleep with anybody else? Steve, she says she loves me, but I don't believe that. The way she treats me. How does she treat you? I mean, she, she cusses me out all the time, calls me names and stuff. I mean, what I mean, kind of, uh, what kind of names does she call you? Calls me a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me... Oh. Makes me look like an idiot. Yeah. I mean, and let's get this straight. She was 16, you were 19. Uh, yeah. Not a big age difference, but probably shouldn't have took well, her. That ain't what they thought. Well, you went to jail for it, right? Yeah. So kind of big deal for you. Yeah. How was jail? Oh, uh, not good. Not good. Um, <laughs> so she tells you she, you're pregnant, you're one of her fears. She has the baby and, and what? And were you there? Yeah, I was there. And what did you think? Wasn't really nothing to think. Okay, hold on. My children were born and I... I, I didn't know if it was my kid or not. So no emotion in it? I mean, 
I guess because it, it, it's a 50-50 chance, you know. Oh, man. It's mine or my brother's. And so this, what did you have, little boy or little girl? Little boy. Little boy comes in the world and you're like, well, it's mine or my brother's. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> so what is your relationship like with your son? I don't really have a bond with him. You don't have a bond My with brother him. has a better bond than I do. So you think that it's because he's the dad? Yeah. Any proof that she cheated, she ever met? Yeah, I slept with your brother. I mean, there's been some, you know, stuff like over the phone and stuff when we couldn't see each other that, you know, there was dudes in the background talking and all this stuff and all that. It's, it's just, I there mean, it's... There was dudes. Do you know what the dudes' names were? No. No. Did she say who the dudes were? No. She, Any... well, yeah, she tried to say that they were her cousins. Okay. Any proof that she ever cheated? Proof. Any evidence? No. no. Okay. Um... But you admit to cheating on her. Yeah, several times. Several times. And uh, tell me about that. I mean, a man needs needs, you know? Now, when you, say, when you say you were cheating on her, were you cheating on her in jail or after you got out or? Look at my baby, Bill. You're going to deny him for real? He's got shape of his eyes. He's got his big old ears. All right, Billy, you came here and you took a DNA test and the results of your test are... You are... You would think... Look at my baby, Billy. You're gonna deny him for real? He's got shape of his eyes. He's got his big old ears. But after you got out of jail, you cheated on her several times? Yeah. And why did you do that? I cheated on her in the beginning of the relationship. And why did you do that? Because we weren't a lot around each other. You weren't around each other. Um, do you want to be with her? No, not really. Oh. Um, you know, like, everybody's different. Um, I'm different. You're different. Yeah. But you don't seem very passionate about the little boy or her. What is there to say? What are you I don't passionate know. I don't about? know if he's mine or what not. Are, what are you passionate about? Finding out the truth. Okay. Does she know that you cheat? Yeah. She I does. Told her. And she's okay with it? I mean, she's still with me. She wants. <laughs> Why? Um, what if it's your son? Will you want to be with her? Or I mean, the arguing and the fighting, our kid don't need to be around that. Okay. You know? Fair enough. Let's bring out Nylisa. Brothers, okay? He looks just like you. Shut up. Shut up. He looks just Shut like you. Shut up. Get out of my I'm face. I'm 16 with a head. Get out of my face. You're 20. You need to step up to the You need to step up to the plate. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. Say, get out of my face. Get out of my face. And that's Somebody need to get out of my face. Get out of my face now, Lisa. I don't want to be with you. Get out of my life. Okay! All right. In, uh, in finishing the story of finding out if you are the father, I mean, you want to know that, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, then, we got to go back out on stage, okay. okay? Let's go. Let's keep her out of my face. Stay out of his face. Don't let her get in my face. Stop. Don't come over here around me now, Lisa. Ma'am, over there, Any chance I can put you guys back in a relationship? <laughs> God. Do you love him? I do. You do? That's why I ran away when okay. I was 16 okay. years old. Hold on, hold because on. I love him and I wanted to be with him. Well, knowing what he just said backstage, that has to hurt you? I mean, he's, 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 he's said before he came out that... I don't want to be with her. And that he cheats on you. Is this a man you really I mean, want to be with? Point. Get it right there. I and do because I, I, I grew up having a single okay. parent. Take care of me. <laughs> okay, I understand that. People are from broken homes, and then they want something different than what they were raised with. But do you want a man that he's not one ounce passionate about you, except the fact that he doesn't want to be with you? He's passionate about that. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> I'm, and I'm not making fun. Listen, and listen, I'm not making fun of that. I think, hey, you're an 18-year-old girl. You got your whole life in front of you. Find you could else. certainly find a man that would be passionate about you, that would love you, that want to cheat on you. Yeah. I know I deserve 
better. And I'm not, listen, and don't get me wrong. Maybe she can go be with my brother, the baby's daddy. Have you seen your brother for real? <laughs> he says they look a lot alike. No, he looks, his baby pictures look just like my kid. And what does his brother look like? Well, me and oh, my brother please. look alike. He's ugly. Look at my so baby, so you're going to deny him Wait, for hold real? on, hold on. Let me get this straight. You got the better looking of the brothers? I did. <laughs> I'm so glad you can laugh at that. Um, he says that you slept with his brother. I did not. Don't lie. I don't. We're have fixing you, to find out anyway. If you've seen his brother, you would throw it up. Like, seriously, he's ugly. You should see some of the guys I've seen throughout my life. Uh, well, you ain't seen nothing like this. He's ugly. <laughs> God. You know I was on Jerry Springer for a lot of years, right? <laughs> so, okay, but he's ugly. I think I might have seen him on the show. Um, <laughs> what did you come here to prove? I came here to prove that my son is his and that I've never cheated on him. And here's the You're sad. A liar. Here's hold okay. Hold on. You're a liar. Come on. Liar, liar, pants on fire. You have not looked out for a while. <laughs> better. We'll go find somebody better. And I know it. I'm pretty and I know it. You're, you're very pretty. I am and I, I deserve better. We'll go find somebody better then. You can't get much better than this. I can too, honey. You can't get much better than this. I can too. You can't get much I better can. than this. Listen, I can. Listen. Listen. Billy, you came here and you took a DNA test and the results of your test are... You are... You would think that, right? All right, Billy, you came here and you took a DNA test and the results of your test are... You are... You would think that, right? It's his baby. I'm a thousand percent sure and I've never cheated on him. Never cheated on Never. Him. Never. I'm not no whore. Sorry. So, um, your brother is not here, but he took a DNA test. Yeah, whether... I chickened out. He didn't want to come. He's And ugly. <laughs> and, Albert, if you're watching the show... You're Send your photo in and we'll include it into the show so everybody can see how good it is. You wouldn't want him on your. No, we're going to just put a picture of him. You still wouldn't want to put it up there. Okay. That bad, huh? Yeah, that bad. So he got all the looks. Not all the looks. <laughs> but he's. But Albert I'm did. sexy. You. <laughs> Your brother's DNA test came back. Negative. And he's not the father. Told you! Can we get his now? You'll probably be bringing her back to find out who the father is. Can we get his now? Wrong too. Can we get his? You're gonna look like a fool. Look at that baby. Look at that baby. Ain't my baby pretty? My baby's beautiful. Come on now. Beautiful. He's very purty. Seriously. No. Look at this. He's got that extended hairline. He's got the shape of his eyes. He's got his big old ears. Yeah, my brother Come on got now. a receding his hairline, hairline too, don't he? Come on What's now, look brother? at my baby. Your brother's not the Come father. On. Look at my baby. He's beautiful, Billy. How can you sit there and deny that? For real? We're fixing to find out. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
And I'll say this, he's the guy who should wear a shirt. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, that would work too. All right, but Billy's here, sexy Billy. Billy will be available for dates tonight. I'll be available. <laughs> and did you say you're also available for dates? Sure am. Okay. Stanford, watch out. <laughs> All right, Billy, you came here and you took a DNA test, and the results of your test are... You are the father. You would think that, right? Yeah. You, you are, are the father. Keep her away from oh, me. She's crazy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Because we got lie detectors. She's crazy. She's crazy. You're the daddy. Okay, I'm the father. I'll step up and be a man and take care of him. No, you won't. Okay, whatever. Billy. Whatever. Uh, Billy, you took. Billy. Billy, you took a lie detector test. Um, I gotta imagine, like, do we have to ask it? You confessed to just about everything. Can we do mine everything. first, please? Can we do hers later? Can we do mine first? No, my wife said no. <laughs> You see who calls the shots around here, right? Um, I'm so happy with it. Um, <laughs> I am, truthfully am. Okay, Billy, you took a lie detector test, and we asked you, have you cheated on uh, Nalisa more than 10 times since you've been in a relationship? And you said, hell yeah. <laughs> he confessed. But that's, that's not really news to you, is it? Did you know about 10? <laughs> now, it is what it is. It is what it is. Bye. Do you even care about her results, whether she ever cheated on you? I'd still like to know. Yeah. You'd still like to know. While dating Billy, have you had sexual intercourse with any, anyone other than him? She said yes. I uh, no. I did she not. Said, you said no. You said no. <laughs> you said you said no. <laughs> and you told the truth. Have you had sexual intercourse with Billy's brother, Albert, while dating Billy? Um, you said no, and you told the truth. Bye. OK. Have you I ever had better. sexual physical contact with Billy's brother, Albert, while she was dating you? She said no, and she told the truth. Um, um, If we've ever done a pick a door with a guy before. Never. I don't think we've ever done it. So, Billy, you know the pick a door game on the Steve Wilco show? Okay. This is how it's played. There's two doors, right? And you close the show by going out the door that you think you, that's where you want your life to go, okay? So, out this door, 
It's night, Lisa. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>